All right, what's up again, <laughs> Twitch, YouTube? Uh, today we've got some special guests. One from halfway around the world. Uh, what's up? One of our feature guests here today is Johnny. <laughs> There he is. If he wants, you can introduce yourself really briefly, or not, or to give stay anonymous. It's all good. <laughs> I'm Johnny. That's There's right. Johnny. There he is. Here's Johnny. Here's Johnny. <laughs> and classic with Dej. Deji, thanks for coming out again. Oop. We are waiting on uh, a few others. Uh, some female input for this dating podcast, I think, would be would be valuable they'll be here hopefully shortly oh got one message here this was actually originally neela's idea do you remember neela <laughs> to have a yeah. dating podcast uh, she can't make it today though uh krista is also uh, feeling a little sick she had food poisoning yesterday so she can't make it today either flowing along with phases pre-pandemic was a very different scene than when pandemic hit and then Everyone got really used to the fact that they weren't going to be seeing anybody in person. So then even the apps, Tinder and Bumble and various apps started implementing like kind of like a Zoom call in the app. So you could have these FaceTime things, exchanges with your matches affiliate. So like so much has changed in the online dating world since I've been on it. Yeah. When was the last time you were on that? <laughs> Uh, 2018 when I met my current girlfriend through yeah, Tinder. That's been a while ago. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. The last time I checked Bumble, there were all these new questions that you could answer to break the ice. What do you mean? Like you can actually just click it? Well, when I looked at my friend's account, he was asking me for feedback. So I was just going through his, it was like, you know, what do you love talking about? questions like that and then mm -hmm. you'll fill in like okay my friend put in economics I'm like why would you put that in your dating profile <laughs> so the prompts make yeah. it about them don't make it about you coffee meets bagel had that too or you have like these three prompts that you can kind of talk about as like yeah. intro things so i guess everyone's copying everyone what were you what were you using then well you guys can both chime in on the on the question we have another Joining in, this might be Paige, hopefully. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is, Paige. <laughs> welcome, Paige. Thank you for hey joining guys. in. Welcome. Oh, welcome. You've got Deji. Say hi, Deji. What's up, man? Or, er, ma'am? <laughs> ma'am. And we've got Johnny from halfway around the What's world. What's up? From Malaysia. International Discord. Originally oh, from Toronto. We have someone coming in from the Netherlands shortly as well. So that'll be cool. Ooh. Nice. When she said she just needed to freshen up because <laughs> I told her last minute. <laughs> um, but yeah, Paige, we're talking about right now, I guess our experiences online with through the apps originally. And then I guess we're going to have to talk about how things have changed over the last, you know, five, six years and then over the pandemic as well. So is everyone talking right now single? Like, are we all on the apps right now currently? Nope. <laughs> In a long-term relationship for the past three years. And did you, was... meet, did you meet that long-term relationship on an app? Yes, I did. Tinder. Oh. oh, sweet. I want to hear about that. I don't even know that. Success story. <laughs> I figured it was about work. No, I was here for vacation. Well, I mean, that was me officially leaving Canada in 2018. Mm-hmm. And long story short, I was like, ooh, I'm going to date a lot of girls in the world. And then the first girl I went on a date with is now going to go on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the right plan there. was to to play around a little bit and then <laughs> lockdown. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do when you leave the country, right? Yeah. I guess. Wait, you went straight to Malaysia? Was that the plan? Yeah, it was a family trip. Oh, okay. Okay. Paige, are you so wait, in a can relationship? Wait, we hear about right now? this date a little more? Like, well, yeah. wait, you went on one date, you knew this was the girl for you? I like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Yeah, pretty much. Nice. So I mean, wait, I've been on a lot of dates before then, and I was like, all right, this one's different. Okay, let's start with if you can remember 
that back then. But let's say you were swiping, right? You you go, you arrive, you set your location settings to where you update it. So you're in Malaysia now, <laughs> where you stay in local, where you like. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was uh, well at the time in Malaysia. There's Penang, which is like a tiny island, mostly Chinese people. Yep. And then I was I had the premium version of Tinder, which allows me to swipe in other places. So I was swiping in Kuala Lumpur, which is like a downtown. Swag. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's just it's a predominantly uh, Muslim country. So oh. a lot of women that are conservative, they wear hijabs. I can't match with them because oh, it just won't work. Okay, so well, how, did you match with a lot? Am I still here? Yeah, I can still see you and hear you. Did you match with a lot before you matched with her? What was your ice breaking oh. first liner? Do you remember? <laughs> did I uh, did I loop, get cut off for a second? My internet dropped. No, I hear you still. Um, I hear you. And we saw okay. you the whole time too. Yeah. Oh, all right. It just froze for me then. Uh, my, yeah. So we matched. I super liked her, and she was super on Tinder nice. for the first time. <laughs> like you, like knew from the very first. Nice. Time. You like super like this girl. Right with a super like. I think like two weeks in, I was swiping, and I couldn't find any good people that I liked. Okay. Um, so yeah, I used my super like, and uh, she didn't know what that meant, so she liked me back. She's like, what is this blue? I don't know if it's the same now, but what is this blue thing around this dude's photo? Yeah. So we matched, and her profile said something like, um, something about being salty. <laughs> okay. This is um, like Tinder's success story right here. Have you told <laughs> yeah. Like, I went on Tinder, I sent one like, <laughs> three year relationship. International. This is unheard of. Yeah, she's the, well, just got she's the hottest girl I'd ever seen. So I was like, you gotta be witty. And then so there's a meme and it's this old woman licking a popsicle and it's like all these flavors and you chose to be salty. So I used that line. Oh, cause she referred to salty. Yeah, gotcha. she said <laughs> salty and bitter. <laughs> so I'm like, can't be serious. So I responded with that. And apparently that was the joke. And that was your opening line? Those memes. Oh, that was my man. opening line. All these flavors and you chose to be salty. I like it. It's different. Yeah. I'm sure no one else said that or used that. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I was the only one. I'll say so you, you asked, super likes do still exist. You have to pay for them though. But you did say you had premium, right? Or something? Pay per super like? No. Um, Five you, bucks a like. You used to get you used to get one super like a day, for free, and as soon as you swipe, twenty four hour counter starts. You can't super like again until that's over. Now they took it out. Now you don't even get any free super likes because they realized well, that they hook you. that can work. No, well I relied on the one super like free every day, and I would just swipe maybe once. And if it's like okay, this person deserves a super like, that's it for me today. I won't open it anymore because then it's like. I don't know, it feels a little bit more authentic that way. But now, <laughs> now that won't work. Now I can't, I can't uh, super like it. And anymore. how much is paid Tinder? Does anyone know? Uh, ranges, if you pay for one month, I think it's like 50 bucks. Holy what? shit! And $50? What? For if you pay just I... for one. And then if you pay for uh, like six months, then they reduce it to like, thirty dollars a month and then if you pay for a year it's down to like 15 or 20 dollars a month or something like that and then they have like discount used... promos sometimes i think i used to pay 16 dollars a year what yeah. yeah man yeah. that's so expensive well because they know Thank that this, God, stu this stuff money. works like it's i mean it's not a dating app anymore it's like it's like a service now it's to like hook up work with people hello hello Hello. Oh, you're on speaker. Uh, can you go on headset? <laughs> wait, should I go on headset? Oh, can you? Hear, I don't hear us on your speaker though. I have a headset. Do we get it? Might be a bit better audio wise. Okay. Everybody, welcome. Uh, how do you want to be introduced here? <laughs> Who me? Yes. Yes. I'll just use my nickname. 
<laughs> oh, like from Twitch? Hello. Nini? Can I call you Nini? Nini. This is Nini from Amps from the Netherlands. I forget where in the Netherlands, but the Netherlands. Nini from Nini. the Netherlands. Oh, it works. Triple N. <laughs> Thank you for joining on such short notice. We've had some people sub out last minute, so we're having some people sub in last minute as well. Nice. I'll let in some interesting tidbits uh, in a bit. Johnny is a vampire. He hasn't aged one bit. Day Day said that. Uh, <laughs> Dan, oh, Day -Day. Dan yeah. says, good to see you live, Johnny. What's up, Dan? Which Ka Dan? Santos? Dan Santos, yep. Ooh. Kyle's watching oh, man. too. Johnny, I gotta, I gotta tell you something. <laughs> What's that? Dan, Dan, you're watching, right? So check this out. So Johnny, <laughs> for like, don't embarrass me. I don't know. For like a solid year, right? <laughs> I hated Dan's guts because, <laughs> like, um, the outs tryouts. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I didn't make that first audition, right? Like, I was on the team the year after, but like, I didn't make that first audition. And so I was just joking with Dan about this, like at the at, um, Christmas place, right? And he was like, yeah, man, it was down between you and Johnny. And I was like, oh, man, I just did a chance. Hi, hi, I'm testing yeah, the volume. Like... Is, it, is it better now? You sound cleaner for sure, yes. And we don't hear our sound in the background. Are you going to come yeah. on camera today or not? Um, sure. How do I do this? <laughs> Wait, Deji, so you hated my guts for this year? Or you no, hated no, Dan's Dan, guts? Dan. You hated Dan's. Oh, you hated I just Dan. found out it was. I just found out it was you when he told me like a couple like weeks ago. It was just <laughs> funny. It was funny. That's like good Waterloo times, man. Look at that RGB setup. Look at that. It's glowing in there. <laughs> oh, shit. Can you all see me? Yes, we can see you. Okay. Everyone looking hi, nice. Hi. Hello. Hi, good what, morning, good evening. Right, what time is it there? Uh, 3 a.m., 3.33 a.m. Nice. Damn. <laughs> That's dedication. Thank you. Thank you. You just caught me when I woke up. Nice. What? I woke, up like woke up? Yeah. <laughs> I woke up like this. I woke up like this. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> fabulous. Up, I'm fabulous. She's okay. fabulous. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. It's that, um, it's that Caribbean flavor. <laughs> How do all of you know each other? Oh, that was going to be the funny story after. <laughs> <laughs> so here, here I, why not? Why not, Paige? Is it, you cool with that? If I uh, say how we met, Paige and I matched oh, on Tinder it. like five years ago, I think. Five or six years yeah, in Toronto. Five or six, yeah. In Toronto. In Toronto. Yeah. yeah. And your first part where I met you was your birthday. And Day Day, who was yeah, in... we went on a date on my birthday. Yeah, I don't even call. It. Wow, wow, is that yes. a date? She invited. This was cool. And then Day Day, who's actually in chat watching, she, uh, he, he was the, my friend that I that came along, and, like hung out with me and you, I guess, at your birthday party. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> yes. Wait. So you had a, you? another event, and you invited Day Day and FJ to your birthday party. Uh. Well, not Day Day. I think she invited me and I was like, can I bring someone? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, like, it was like my birthday at a bar and I was single and I was like, yeah, come. Oop, she's super nice. And look, six years later, still friends. Five, six. Hey, Rocky. <laughs> and there's Rocky. Yeah. Uh, with Nini, actually, a... uh, matched with Nini on OkCupid okay about a month ago, <laughs> you'd say, a few weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, lot, sort lot, of. Lots a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Match in Toronto or in the Netherlands? I currently have my uh, OkCupid settings to global. <laughs> Same. <laughs> nice. Just for a little something different, you know? Uh, well, yeah, all the other apps, I think, limit how far you can... Not really. You expand. can do the same with Tinder as well. International? Like yeah, you can you can do it with most apps, but then you have to pay extra for that option. Yeah, there uh, you go. I, I don't want to pay. I don't want to pay. I I have done. I paid for Tinder a couple months when it was like on. There was like a gold subscription, fifty percent off for like a month, and then they had like platinum for like thirty percent off one month. I tried it. Those you get like way more super likes. 
you get to again hide your age or but change your location. Do you get location. more matches? What is Why do you want to hide your age? Uh, do I get more matches? Nope. Nope, it didn't. All, all I got, I guess, from that was... Oh, and why do I want to hide my age? Um, I think it matters more, I guess, if you are after a certain age demographic and you feel maybe that they're not looking for your age demographic. If that so makes so. sense. Do you, do you feel discriminated against because of your age? <laughs> like... I've been reported to be underage oh. when they... I And I think... <laughs> I don't think they meant that I was under 18, but I think what the complaint was that my pictures look younger than my age in the app. So they probably thought oh. I was fake or something. But even wouldn't it be even worse if you don't have your age displayed and they still look at your picture, they'll still report you thinking that you're underage. Well, they didn't think I was, again, like illegal, like 18 and under. But Strange. I think mm. if, if, if I didn't show my actual age, then it, would, it wouldn't... Um, be as comp as a uh, contradictory i think i look younger than my age so whoever reported me that time probably thought that i was lying about my age probably that's my reason don't raise in <laughs> yeah <laughs> until later in life <laughs> and then it all catches <laughs> up at once <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, okay i'll mention this why the whole hiding the age thing this is what i've um, I didn't, I didn't like discover this on my own, but there's like this YouTube channel of this guy who gave his, um, recommendations on how to do better on these dating apps. And particularly if you're of an older, older generation. So let's say you're like late thirties, but you're still looking to date mid to late twenties, early thirties, but you anticipate that women that age likely won't have an age range that broad that go all the way up to like late 30s, maybe only five years max up and down from your actual age. So he's like, what you do is you you, put, you subscribe and you pay for the, for the app, you hide your actual age, but when you sign up for your account, you make yourself younger, like 30. And then you hide your age, and then you put your real age in the description, so you're not necessarily lying. Or you could just keep it a secret if you want. But that's the point. So you're just in the radar. Otherwise, no one's going to see you if their rage range doesn't include you. Does that make sense? Yes, I think it makes more sense if you put your real age in the description because I feel it feels weird to lie about it. Exactly. Because knowing that, like, I mm -hmm. would never match with someone who did that. Mm hmm. Although I've, I'm single, so who am I to talk? So I've noticed on Tinder as well, I've seen a lot of uh, profiles with no ages on them. I would mm -hmm. never swipe right to those. I, I find it no. sus. No. So Why would you want to hide your age? It's weird. It kind of gives me pedo vibes a bit. <laughs> but what if, what if they're young <laughs> though? They're pedophile, they want what if they're young <laughs> and they want to appeal to an older... We've got a word for that in Papi Man too. Yeah. <laughs> What's the word? <laughs> it's not nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just like, especially when it comes to dating, I just think like I'm so tired. I just want transparency. Like, can we all just be open right up front? Can I hear about your foot fetish or whatever it is right up front? Like, I don't uh. want to. I don't want any secrets. Let's just do it. Are we compatible? Cool. Let's go on a date. Yeah, it's better like that. A no BS approach. Yeah. I, no yeah. beating around the bush. What if they have nothing yeah. written in their profile? All you see oh, is my. their name and their age. Automatic left swipe? Oh, Don't even... Most are like that, actually. Even if they're most really good looking? I'm on Hinge. <laughs> I'm not on Tinder. Mm -hmm. I'm on Hinge, so... It's a bit different on Hinge. Like, you have those questions you can answer and then if you don't answer any of the questions it seems like lazy seems like oh maybe you just want to hook up so that's why i would swipe left i think they all seem like that if they don't put anything in it uh it seems more like one night standish which is fine but that's not what i'm personally looking for right okay for those who still use apps uh what are you on which apps which apps oh so many so so many so just hinge page <laughs> Oh, you're on yeah, a lot? Yeah, <laughs> I, um, 
Yeah, I'm pretty lazy, so I just went with Hinge. Just Hinge. You can okay. say I'm 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 almost everything I could find. <laughs> Is that thirteen? I was on thirteen at once when I was okay, trying to be one I, efficient. That one I don't know. Don't know that one. Uh, Have you guys read the hold league? Hold Is that still a thing? League? I was on the league for a little bit. <laughs> yes, Dad. It was such a small pool. Oh, we're not gonna just breeze by the fact that FJ just <laughs> on once. That was so about. You gotta relax. That was no, no. So, okay, I was very <laughs> hesitant net. at first. I was no. You what you'll notice is you see the same faces on like several. Like it's the same. It's the same profile just on a different app. Uh, so we're all trying the same thing. It's probably laughing at each other. All these people that we came across. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. You get that a lot. I've I've seen several profiles come by on practically all the apps I've used. Same people. Yeah. Because they're trying the, the same is, thing. They're trying to be efficient too. <laughs> yeah, the thing is as well with me, I'm always like on and off these apps. So it's like I've, since now, it's been like, I think two years since I've used apps and I came back on it and I'm finding like the exactly same people still using it. And I'm like, oh, nobody's actually, no, no is one's like, actually that getting sign? anything <laughs> off of these apps. <laughs> it's like they're all still on it. Yeah. Oh, I, at least I hope they're updating their photos. If it's like no. years, oh, see, no, if, see, if, and then you know that's sus. That's them, straight no. sus. If it's the same photos from five years ago, then you can't rely on those people to be telling the truth. No, but I found the worst was could punishment. probably be bots. <laughs> the bots. Oh yeah, or bots. So, no, that that I noticed the regular... compared to compared to like <laughs> when I first started to using Tinder and the other apps to now. Right now, there are so many bots and fake accounts. Like, oh my god. Yeah, and I kind of started making it a habit to purposely swipe on the fake ones just to fuck with them. <laughs> well, the thing what is the what is the ratio of swipe right to swipe left for women? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I think I swipe right like maybe one in every two hundred. It's bad. Oh, that's, that's on hinge. I, I, that's on hinge, I, I, though. I mean, hinge. that it's could be a very a different. Screen. It could be slight. I mean, a little different on other. Um, it depends apps. on what you're looking for, in my opinion. I'm very picky, like extremely picky, and I've changed my Tinder account to global because if it was only European, I would not swipe on anyone. Literally, I would just keep going left, 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 left the entire day. <laughs> is that based on? Is it about Europeans? Is it? Is it's... it? Yeah. Is it cultural? Mm -hmm. Is it a cultural thing or what? It's a lot of things, actually. I feel like, and I'm only speaking to Toronto because that's what my hinge is set for. A lot of guys have really bad profiles that make them look like it makes me think, "Oh, you look like such a dick." <laughs> it's bad. I've, we... I've seen a couple that looks like they could be serial killers or molesters or something. The kind of yes. pictures they use, it's creepy as hell. I mean, bad pictures or like too cocky. And you're just like, oh, I, I don't even think I'd want to have a conversation with you. And then you, you don't get... even see their faces at all. They're just standing with their backs facing the camera, which is weird. <laughs> or like just memes or like pictures that, yeah, have don't have food in it at all. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. If there's food, I it's bet. like that's automatic bot for me. But yeah, go ahead. Can we can we evaluate some Tinder or dating profiles? Like look on it on stream? I or you mean each screen. other's, like our ourselves, like our our profiles? You mean? Yeah. Oh. Share share your profile, <laughs> and then we'll give you some. We can give give some feedback. Oh, I wonder. Can I? Hey, let me figure this out. It you'd have to log in on your browser, and then you'd have to share your screen, and then it would show in Discord if you want. Uh, but yeah. Oh, what? You can log in on your browser? Yeah, there's yeah. a Tinder web page. Tinder has a web, OkCupid, okay, Bumble too. Not all of them, but I know those three do. Uh, Facebook has one too. If you use Facebook dating, it's probably the saddest one. Uh, <laughs> I'm Facebook just... won't let me use their dating. It's so brutal. <laughs> I think you have to be single, maybe? <laughs> Actually, maybe not. I don't even know if you have to be. I'm single. No, like, is that in your... Profile? I, yeah. Oh, it is? Then really? It won't let you? 
probably been trying or forever, but yeah, it won't let me. You're not missing out. Then I'll just go. say <laughs> again. I'll just say you're probably not missing out. I'll say the only reason why Deji said 13 was like in the beginning I was super resistant to to trying any of these apps, and then I'd say about eight months after my longest relationship at the time, um, I I got I finally got um, convinced to to try Tinder, and then. Maybe a month later, I was like, okay, well, let's just compare which one's the best. So then I I think, yeah, there were like 13. There's Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, Badoo, Zeusk. Uh, there was something with being, uh, what was that one called? Where you had to be like within a close proximity if you saw each other, but you couldn't say anything to each other face to face. You can like message them. I forget Grindr? what that was called. Right. Gr Happen, happen. Oh, that was happen. happen. Is grinder that was another the worst one? Yeah. App. You didn't like happen? No. Happen used no. worked for I me never once. Matched with anyone. It worked for That's me a... once with happen. I was happen is terrible. I don't have any positive feedback from anyone I know that used happen. It's probably why it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> no, it still does. It does. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Match, match. You know, plenty of fish. I don't like There's match. No I don't like. Um... Anyway. There's okay. like. Lexa as well over here. I'm down to I'm down to six now, but I'd say the only ones I really use are like three. And from what I've re learned recently, if you're serious about actually looking for a relationship, Hinge is the best. And this is what I've heard from people who are like actually going on dates. They're actually meeting people, not just a I bunch of like sharing it depends Instagrams. On, it, that depends the country you're in and what, the mindset of the people in that country. This is definitely not the case here. Hinge isn't good over there? No apps are. No apps are. No. So you gotta go like coffee shops and meet people in real life? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so you don't like Europeans and you it... don't like any of the apps? <laughs> I'm in a dilemma. <sighs> <laughs> Just pick your poison. I didn't come here by my own choice, so... Right. <laughs> right. Oh, do you think it would have been a different scenario had you been still back home? Apps wise, back home. No, back home it's worse. Okay. Damn. Well, there you go. Yeah, it's uh, improvement. <laughs> You're more central than accessible, at least like in an international standpoint. People fly into Netherlands a lot, right? Before before COVID. Yeah, but it's mostly just to go do crazy shit in Amsterdam. That is absolutely correct. Yeah, that's true. That's a true. lot of people that. If they hear I'm from the Netherlands, the only thing that goes to their head is, Oh, Amsterdam! Oh, you do weed? And I'm like, the hell no, bro. <laughs> not everybody here uses weed. Yeah, there's And Amsterdam is not the only place in edibles. Holland. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee shops, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I just confirmed it. I cannot sign in to Hinge on Oh yeah, computer. no. Hinge can't do website. Sad you guys can't judge my profile and rip it apart. Oh, you could just hold it up to the to the camera and then we'll like There's no way that'll work. Do you think that'll <laughs> look, work? Look look on your phone. Depends I on I do have how good I have my is. Tinder one if you guys want to see it. Yeah, let's do it. I want to see. I can show Oh wait. Mm -hmm. You deleted it's me on okay keep it. I can't show it anymore. <laughs> who what? <laughs> who did, who deleted you on okay keep it? You did. No. Oh, you're not there anymore. Unless oh no, um, <laughs> my account is not much active there anymore. I see, okay, okay. It's all um, good. I'm not offended. <laughs> I didn't delete you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, share screen, right? Uh, yeah, share screen and then I'll... Um... Eso, eso, eso. Alright guys, we all get to... Uh... So judge excited. this. We all get to judge this. Here we go. Hey, you're so excited. Careful on your tabs <laughs> if you have to hide any of your tabs, because we can see that too. <laughs> uh, I have nothing to hide right now on my tabs. All right. All right. Penis last word. What? Okay. What? What? How are we going to evaluate this? Are we like? I like it. Re oh. <laughs> thumbs oh up. God. Thumbs down. Right swipe. Oh, okay. So, what's everyone's um? uh process do we look at all the photos first do you guys read first what do you guys do uh, i'm a photos guy i'm a photos guy for sure 
These guys are visual. Men are visual. I look at the, the picture first, like this picture, and then I'm going to read. Like if I was on Tinder, I would look at the picture, read the age and everything, and then keep going. Like you guys just skip over everything written. You look at all the photos first. Uh -huh. I oh. don't read. Oh, 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 oh. Um, let me let me try to hide that. <laughs> Thank good call there, uh, Kyle. But I'm gonna move it over so your phone number doesn't show. Oh. Wait, um, it. Too late. So if anyone, I don't know. I don't know how to like. <laughs> That's okay. Make it, it make it full screen started. again, and I'll hide it. I'll hide it. But at this point, anyone can just rewind the podcast and <laughs> look for it again. But yeah. I'll try to cut it out later. I don't answer in, numbers I don't know, so anyway, it doesn't post. matter. There, that works. I, it's it's gone now. It's gone now. But yes. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, okay, let, let, let's scroll through your photos. We'll see if you've picked your best one as your first one. A, oh my god. <laughs> oh, fierce. Okay. All right. She goes outside. Oh, you can do GIFs now. I'm so old. Yes, you could do that. <laughs> yes, you could have like short videos. I can't see a show. Oh, a quote? Oh, you can't see it, Dutch? <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I think this is a great profile. Like, you're happy. I find that with a lot of profiles, people aren't smiling at all, and it's like a huge turnoff. Like, you're happy. There's some showing you outside. It shows you have a pet. Like based on these photos, I could message you and ask you questions. Like I think this is a super strong profile. Yeah, I, I give usually, it a solid uh, eight. I usually have a resting bitch face, so it's kind of annoying to find <laughs> pictures I'm even smiling in. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. do. I do like my... your first choice. Your first choice photo, I think, would uh, among your set would be my first choice photo selection too. My yeah. the thing that I used to look for was like um, not the top down photos because that usually tends to skew how a woman <laughs> actually looks. Um, right. One smiling photo selfie. Yeah, smiling selfie is important, and um, full body photo. Like this one, full body. Yeah, like that one, exactly. Do you think there mm. should be one photo with a group or not? Nah? Unnecessary? No, 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 I, not at all. I think I it's hate, optional. I, optional I, I hate those because then. Yeah, I have what to, is like... the point of the group photo? Is it to be like I have friends? Like, what is the the point? Or just to show like if you're super social? Like, when I see those, it's like I don't know. You're trying to brag or something. But the thing is, I'm not on the app to look at your friends. I'm on right. the app to look at you. Right. I don't need to see other faces. And there are some that are only in group photos, or they only have one picture. It's a group photo, and you have to guess yeah. who it is. Yeah, that's a left. Oh uh, well, yeah, the, for sure. I, I mean, like, let's say you have five or six of just you. Obviously, it's it's who you are and all of them, so that when the group photo does show, you can find him or her immediately. Yeah, major majority though are just one picture, and it's a group photo. If it's a group photo. Yeah, I don't like having to. Pick I've also kind of on TikTok. There's a lot of those dating coaches, and a lot of them are terrible. And there was one that also like promoted these group photos. So if you're like afraid that the person is going to, you know, badly judge your looks, it's best to use group photos. You know, to hide yourself. Like it, he taught different ways to hide yourself in pictures on dating apps. And I'm well, like, that is so that. terrible. Yeah, yeah. It's so yeah. terrible. Is the, what is the point of that? I've seen pictures, like speaking of the group photo, you know when there's like an obvious crop, they crop someone out? <laughs> I've seen people use their wedding photos and crop the other person out. And I'm like, oh Ooh. no, <laughs> don't do that. By the way, have you, have you come Single, across never like, married. <laughs> like couple profiles? Yes. Oh, like they're looking for a third. Oh, looking for a third. Yeah, those are, I'm not going to say they're that like abundant, but maybe there. a couple times a week you can come across those if you if yeah. you're relatively regular swiping on there bumble also has like, like a feature where you can just like use it to make friends like a bff feature of it right yeah and i've tried using that up for a while and i didn't really know anybody here and i noticed like people i've matched were not girls that i was chatting to they were the girl's boyfriend trying to like you know ease in on you to try and get threesomes oh, oh that's crazy. messed up yeah 
Yeah, that's not cool. That's good. No. I, uh, I should I try know that. Someone... <laughs> oh, God. I know someone that had a profile looking for a third. So her and her boyfriend were, lo were on dating apps looking for a third. And someone contacted me because one of her photos is us, like me and her. And they were like, yeah, it kind of looks like you're one of their thirds. And I had to call her and be like, Can you take the, my photo off of your group Whoa. sex no. profile, please? That's messed up. <laughs> and sometimes I really wonder if the, the woman in the picture is actually in on it or not. Because yeah. my experiences, with my experiences, sometimes I get very curious and I try to probe information out of these type of people. And a lot of times I get the feeling their girlfriends or wives are not in on it. That they're doing behind their backs. So they're, they're straight up just cheating? Like... Yeah, yeah. Try to market that they're a couple, but then end up... There was... Yeah, there was one who wanted to introduce me to his wife and I had to convince her via him to do a threesome. And I'm like, that's fucked up. Oh. Like what, dude? <laughs> that's different. <laughs> and you you get a lot you oh, get a lot crazy. of strange people on Tinder. A lot of strange people. I like oh, how much you're trying to amuse too. yourself, though. That you're yeah. still interacting with people because you're like, I'm so bored. <laughs> I'm extremely curious. I'm an extremely curious pe person, and when I find like the weirdest profile, I either share it with all my friends and we we talk about it. Or I engage with them and try like probe and see what's going on with this person. Like that. And then share about that. <laughs> you know, it's more like um, people I know that don't use dating profiles. I'm like an experience for them to know what it's like. <laughs> Actually, to go back on what what uh, Johnny asked earlier. So we know one out of 200 is page, your right swipe ratio, right? Are you swiping like every day and how many swipes do you give yourself a day um i find like it, it goes in waves because i find like it it's tiring after a while but when i'm going on the app every day i probably match with like maybe one or two people a day maybe okay okay i usually do it on the bus like it's usually just like okay i'm on the bus I take the bus to work I'll go through um, and then out of those swipes that I match with I would say 50% don't respond oh, and then wow. out of those 50% that mm -hmm. do respond I would say I meet up with 5% so the like ones 5% result in an actual date when you're saying respond um, they initiate the conversation like Mostly, you, you get like, like a match notification. Who starts the combo? Like, is is it is it still the man's role? So if um <laughs> if someone matches with me, then I, so well, I always initiate. I think because most people who match don't write anything. So if someone matches with me, either I answer their question or I say something. And then if I oh. match with someone, I say something. Okay. Uh, Otherwise, like why I don't understand why people match and then just never say anything. I think it, uh, I do know that some people still use these for like validation, just to feel good about themselves. That they, if they get oh, the yeah. likes, just you know, they, they're they're maybe not even active on it, but it's it's just to feed the ego. Uh, but if we can go around, yeah, I guess Dej, if you want to go next, uh, are you still on them? Uh, I'm not, but I can like let me see if I can pull up the pictures I had on them. Oh yes. Um, oh, but in in terms of how many right to left swipes? What do you remember your ratio roughly? It depends. It depends because like so I nuanced. go through <laughs> 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 I would go through like periods where I was like super picky. And then, you know sometimes when you're just on the apps out of boredom. Okay. You kind of just fall into this like weird like just like you're not even you don't even like know like what you're swiping. Know? but then sometimes i'm like super like intentional about like what i'm looking for and i'll go through the bio and profile so those times it's a, it's because i'm pretty picky i'll say like one to like 15. it's pretty good you know? that's yeah. pretty nice yeah then again it depends what app too because like back when i was um was using hinge like last year um and like 
I was meeting up with like I had a higher ratio of like more dates per swipe and like um like Tinder. Those are the only two I was I've ever really used anyway. Um yeah. Okay. And 15. in terms so of why your did hit you go rate, off? Oh yeah, okay. Uh well I'm currently like talking to someone, so and nice. honestly like I think a lot of people just get off those apps because it's just like this is pointless <laughs> you know you just you're just on there like wasting time and you're not really like especially during the pandemic i just found um my experience well that's actually not true because i was still meeting up with people during the pandemic actually um at the end not so much yeah like just now it's just like profiles are just so like weird and obnoxious and I don't want to like feel like I'm judging people, you know, so it's just like, why am I even on here? So I'm more of a like real life encounter, like more organic, you know, um, get to know a person type, you know, a person anyway. So like, yeah, I feel like now that things are opening up, if I were to be like looking for someone, it would be more in a natural like outdoor setting or something, but yeah anyways okay thank you for the input Welcome. uh Wait, so are we not gonna judge your profile like not oh, yet shit. not yet i'm uh, just i just want to kind of like oh my God. <laughs> I'm let just... me see if i can like find the pictures that i had up there That's cool cool like on my phone i don't have an... i just wanted to go around with everyone first to see what their uh right to left swipe ratio was and like their hit rate like how how good are their right swipes like from your percentage of your swipes are right and then the percentage of your right swipes are matches that's trying to figure that out as an input so uh nini do you want to go next that's hard to say like on a day really, i don't use it regularly i tend to even forget i have the app <laughs> okay but um hmm. would, you, would you say most of your right swipes are automatically matched Yes, practically all. Mm -hmm. That's actually like, like a thing. With, like, would you would you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. Too many <laughs> options. Too many, Too many options. options. And yeah, the majority of them don't even talk either. Yeah, and also with guys, it's a thing where they'll just swipe on everyone so if you're getting all these matches but then 50 percent don't talk to you it's like are any of them real matches or were guys just saying yes yeah until they ran out of likes it's like <laughs> dollars they're just swiping yeah. right i know that's the a strat that a lot of guys do they just right swipe everyone and Niagara then they, Falls. they filter later but i've also noticed i have way more matches now compared to when i first started using tinder it's it's not normal in my opinion how long ago was when you first uh like two years ago so that's probably because of the pandemic right probably more, more people on there mm -hmm. i think so but it's kind of shocking to me how, how many matches i've got right now Hey, that's and hard how many do you have? It's a nice ego. Boost. You gotta be super yeah. picky. Um, <laughs> yeah. Right now, 606. Oh, shit. Yikes. I wish I had that um, many matches yeah, to go through. Wow. That is crazy. <laughs> it's work. It's like not fun <laughs> like, anymore. That's not enjoyable. No. How does this, does and this then affect you? Get, you? <laughs> if you get spammed by them. That means oh, you're, no, that means oh, you're really? swiping like, too. You're swiping right too too much, Nini. That means you're you're not being picky enough. I don't even know. <laughs> oh, no, oh no, I'm being extremely picky. Trust me, I am. It's just a lot of them are fake profiles. I can tell. I the ones I'm messing people. with. What and about... also, my my profile is also international, so it's not just here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that I guess that makes that makes a difference too. Johnny, how about you? When you remember using it. <laughs> I what was, was like one in a hundred. I was curious, so I would count. So I think he's like one in a hundred. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you do swipe right, what was your hit rate on like match match rate? Meaning, meaning like going on a date or just matching, like just matching, matching first. Oh, matching. Oh, yeah. probably like thirty percent, twenty, maybe twenty percent. One in five. 
That's pretty good. I think nice. I do think though, having compared the last, I started in 2014. Um, so that's like early 30s, and now I'm late 30s. It's changed quite a bit just from changing that age demographic for me. Uh, nowadays, one in every hundred would be a right swipe. And of the of those right swipes, about one in every ten could be a match. So yeah, it's uh, is that being too picky? I don't know, right? Like I'm, I, I, I think some people do place a little bit more emphasis on maybe a physical attraction. Like, are, how 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 key is that first photo? You know, like, do, do you want to be attracted or is it like, do you give everyone a shot if they're like a seven? Like, what, what does that first photo have to be out of 10 for you to give them a shot? Just don't be creepy and look like a homicidal person. Yeah, like, just don't look like you're going to stab me in an alleyway. Like, legit, don't look like it. a rapist. Yeah. I feel like that's these standards legit. are so low. I Right? <laughs> right? That's so so why, is it, why is it that I'm only getting 10%, man? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I think like really for me at least like I don't I don't know like it looks isn't what it, I'm initially attracted to and I'm not going to know from this profile so it it really doesn't matter as long as you're not creepy okay. looking. Okay. But still one so you're saying 99 people or no no 199 people all look like like I have, I have a bit of rules that I made up to make it more fun. Like, um, if you have a shirtless selfie in the mirror. Oh, pic, yes. I Let's go with the, the no-nos. Um, yes. If you have a, a low, uh, you're driving in your car and it's a low angled shot, I swipe left. Um, <laughs> if what there's too many group <laughs> photos, I swipe left. I think we all have like a list of things we're not attracted to or like. Let's let's go over those lists. I think those are that that could be very informative for our viewers. <laughs> Me? Uh, this is also this is also someone's preference, right? Yeah. Which is fine. Yeah. And as a like as a photographer, like so I think if you have a lot of really old grainy photos and you're cropping a lot of people out of them like you haven't taken the time to hold your phone and take one selfie of yourself, like that to me is like low effort. I look for profiles where people have put effort into them and don't look like they just want casual hookups because oh, I, don't, I can, that's I not can what add, I want. I can add a bit to that. Differences I've seen in the quality of pictures from people in the US compared to here in the Netherlands. When I first started searching in LA and all that area, I've noticed that people in LA put way more effort in having like yeah. professionally taken yeah. pictures. Is that here sus? In the here? That... No, no, no. It makes it better. Okay. It makes okay. me more intrigued into looking more, while the ones over here, you, they don't care. They just put random shit. <laughs> A lot of questionable pictures as well. What if no, like, this is your dating resume? Like you need to, you need to at least present somewhat. You know, like I don't want to see yeah. a photo of you and your mom from ten years ago that you've cropped your mom out of. A lot of pictures I've seen of guys here in the Netherlands give me the impression they're just here for shits and giggles. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I can't take it seriously. If your profile already gives off the impression you're just here for shits and giggles, I'm obviously not going to swipe right to you. Because then you're going to take the whole relationship as shits and giggles too. Or it's not even going to be a relationship. You're just there for no apparent reason, in my opinion. What if but you two... You're just wasting my time for relationships or casual. Dating. No, in my in my case, it's relationship. I'm a serious ser serious dater. Okay. <laughs> yeah, mine too. I I like it doesn't have to be serious right away, but I would like the option to become serious at some point. Like I don't, I'm not really looking for one night stands or threesomes or casual meetups. Yeah, like no, if, I, they, if they I, advertise. I in my profile like what i don't want and the sad part is a lot right. of guys don't read it they don't read your profile at all <laughs> yeah and that's another thing Let's that's another that. thing that's that's, that's another nice. um, turn off for me i put effort into writing my profile to put things like a lot but still a little about me that you can know what i'm what i'm about and what i don't like and then you get guys hitting me up in the chat asking me what's already in my profile i will already unmatch you like mm. dude did you not read it right 
Right. Down to earth, fun loving, passionate, serious, caring, considerate, gamer, texter. Love for East Asian culture, multiracial, multi ethnical, mixed. I speak four languages. There's the so Instagram. The bio is the best part because you can, like, as a guy, you can, like, use that to break the ice. Yeah, exactly. I'm course, giving you options to no be bio. able to talk to me, but they're not using it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do like when the conversation, or at least if they're if they're the ones starting a conversation, uh, it's nice that it's referencing something that's already written. Then exactly. it kind of it kind of shows that that they're in. You've read it. You've yeah. shown interest. Mm -hmm. It's hard to do Stop that writing. though when they have nothing but their exactly. Instagram on their bio or something like. They just want more followers on Instagram. A lot of those too, I've noticed. <laughs> There's a lot of those. Yeah. How many lot, how many of... guys for the women? How many guys just say what's up? Hey. Just what's up? Yeah, they just give a really lame opener. Let me go check. <laughs> I don't remember. Out of ten. Maybe like how many yeah, maybe twenty five percent. Twenty five percent. Hey, how's it going? Lot, lot. Well so see for all the guys. <clears throat> You if, can open with something more than that. You're beating 25% of the men. Oh, true, true. I say hey. the smartest thing to do as a guy, if you don't know how to open with someone, is just ask a fun question. Like, look at the profile. What's your favorite video game? What kind of games are you into? Even like, if they I don't have a lot of any... Like, yeah, even what? if they don't have anything written in their profile, try and scan something out of their pictures. Okay. Or even like, just ask the <clears> universal <throat> question that every person can answer. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? 99.9% .9 of people will have an answer to that, you know? Salty. Yeah, yeah it's, it's interesting when people just write hi or hey. Pork. And even yeah. when you try and interact Bacon. with them, they give you one word answers. Like, yeah, but a lot of people, a lot of guys I've noticed as well are bad communicators or are um, so socially awkward and do not know how to even start a conversation. Yeah, that's why those are left swipes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get rid of get rid of those people. Leave it to the so people. So thinking people. thinking up a starter for them is probably impossible. I I have some really socially awkward guy friends, and and that I just tell them like, ask a question about food. What is your favorite blank? And like right. they said, they came back and they were guys. like, oh, it's awesome. I have so many chats now from that one question. I'm like, yes, and a question that works. Use it for everyone. Done. Okay, copy paste is, isn't isn't bad. Okay, but like, make it yeah. about food. It, here's okay. A question. Here's a good question. What's the best way to transition from? Okay, I think the opener. He or she is interested. How do we? How do I get her? How do I get her number? Or how do I ask her on a date? Don't ever start the conversation with that. I've had guys do that. I Im Im immediately unmatch them. Oh, when they. Oh no, not not starting. Like, you have transition. to make the person feel comfortable to begin with to want to do that. Okay. So in my case, most of them have not. But so yeah, you... if you, you have to warm up to the person, you have to like be able to trust them. Okay, this guy's genuine with what he's trying to you know get out of this. Either he just wants a friendship or a relationship. It, one of the two. Uh. Most of the times, uh, for me, it's if they ask me for my Instagram account and they mention like my drawings or something, fine, okay, then we can like switch off to that. But I've also have a couple of guys that like they would say, "Hey, hello, how are you?" I'm not often on Tinder, so can I have like your personal contact information? Yeah, and I'm I really like, don't no, like thank that. you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't, I don't like getting those either. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and people will tell me like. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm never on here. Can I have your phone number? And then I'm exactly like, then what's the point of being on this app? There's and no then, difference. Like, the I app. tell them exactly. There's no difference between my WhatsApp and this app right now. We're still chatting online. Yeah, yeah. I think At least my approach, yeah, was uh, if if it's someone that I think has like 600 matches and they're getting spammed, getting them off to a different platform changes the context. Yeah. So that usually worked. So. Uh, you're not getting as many texts or WhatsApps as messages on whatever dating app. Obviously, before like at, this is after you. Hey, okay, but one match test. wonder. Like, how many times <laughs> did you have to do that? <laughs> I mean, well, I dated for, for yeah, like for, for, for two years. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess if if for for her sake, your you know your partner now, 
I, I imagine, yeah, her, her inbox was bombarded, yeah? Like, and if you don't uh, keep it active, yeah. aren't you going to get bumped down on that inbox to the point where you could get lost if you don't keep the conversation up? So yes. that's, a, that's a challenge, too, if you're going to... If we're trying to keep up a conversation, but if it's not active enough, maybe you just, just get maybe lost. Maybe just have some light banter before you ask for that, because it, it, a lot of people do ask in the very first time you're talking to them in like one of the first sentences mm -hmm. it's a complete turn off like uh no we just matched is instagram considered i guess if you have a private account then yes it would be it would be like private information but if someone let's say they look through your photos but they want to see more photos to make sure you're not fake because i mean that's a thing too uh you just kind of want to make sure i've had that a lot socials. People so, think I'm a fake account. Is that is that like automatic turn off if they're like, hey, I know, is there anywhere where I can see more photos? My Instagram is connected. Know. Like, I don't think that's weird at all. Like, yeah, mine as well. well yeah, oh, public it's too, it's on like, the bio. Okay, okay, so then that's easy. Then that's that one's easy. I I find like it's weird when they have let's say I'm gonna ask you guys this too. Let's say all the photos are professional uh, higher quality none of them are selfies is that sus higher quality of what what did you take actually then like like let's say let's say you're a model or let's say you are a photographer and all your photos are like were taken really by someone quality. else and they're really good quality but none of them are selfies does that make you question if that person's legit and real i don't think I so I would. No, you know, I, <laughs> That's why I, I want to see their Instagram. <laughs> I've never questioned if someone was real until, because if you're talking to someone, you know, I've talked to someone and then they've been like, oh, I don't have any social media. That for me is a red flag. Yes. I never, I, yes. I hate that. I, I've had had one experience mm -hmm. with one person mm -hmm. who was not the same person in his picture. Well, it's good that it was only once. Yeah. At all. Yeah. How yeah, did you find only, out? Only, uh, he was very, very eager to meet. I was not really, I was kind of reluctant. And we actually lived like a few blocks away from each other and he saw me. Oh, <laughs> on a day. He saw me one day walking Close. outside and he was like, Did he talk to you? He was in his car, he drove by and he instantly started texting me telling me yeah, it's him in the car and I'm like looking at the dude like, oh fuck. Oh, that's, that's creepy, that's <laughs> creepy. You he see, looks nothing like his picture. When 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 you have a profile that has such nice photos, and to the point where you're like, this person could perhaps pursue this as a career, and then you're like, oh, are you on Instagram or any kind of other socials where I could see more photos? And they're like, oh, I don't use social media. For me, it's like, how can you look like that and not use social media? It's like that's, I, not to be judgy, but that I know that's that is judgy. So that's that's us too. I also like. think though, because it's not that judgy, because you think, okay, you don't use social media, but you have all these super professional photos. Right? Did you hire someone to take photos only for your dating <laughs> profile? And in that case, should I what, ask that? You switched outfits a bunch of times. I think you <laughs> should ask it. Like, that's odd to me, unless they're wearing the exact same thing in every. You know, like it. It's there's some disconnect there because everyone I know who legit doesn't use social media also doesn't have a lot of photos of themselves oh but they're still on apps like they they would still use the apps mm, i know one girl she doesn't use any social media and she does go on apps sometimes um but it's not like she has super professional photos like that's where i would get huh. suspicious okay yeah 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 so she does have selfies though she'll show it's not just yeah. A, yeah, all of selfies, her cat yeah. or something <laughs> No, 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 yeah, she has real pictures. Sorry, my cat is being needy right now. <laughs> okay. Okay, so for you guys, what are big turnoffs on female profiles? Are there any? Uh, lip injections. Um, Ew. Drawn in eyebrows. Um. <laughs> so it's all physical? It's not uh, like well, this type of photo or... Uh, oh, well... Yes. If, if I see if... anything about a boat, I'm swiping left. <laughs> really? Really? Boats? <laughs> yeah. About that. Wait, what you kind of boat? Like a boat? Like a yacht? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. When when you, when you want? Yeah, yeah. Must have a boat. <laughs> <So> wow. 
<laughs> that yeah. sounds very Dutch. Oh. Must have a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, also, if demand. if it's like if you're Plus. if you're under this height, whatever they 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 like swipe no, left. That's, dick. that's a dick so move. I'll be like, yeah. yep, okay, you're right. I will swipe left to that if you're under this height. I do oh, find though, if the photos, let's say, is um deliberately to uh appreciate just their physical form, like their body parts, I get it. It could be they're very stressed. attractive, but if that's all they're emphasizing and that's all they're kind of valuating themselves, I do find that to be... How sexual is too sexual, though? I mean, if you have to tie in the word sexual to it, uh, like, I don't know. Okay, so like, if there's a girl who just has a super low-cut top... That's not... So, I, not a turn-off? That, that wouldn't be sexual, but if you're in lingerie or, or yeah. like taking clothes off in the photo and teasing okay. by taking the clothes off that's sexual like low cut top that's sure but if she's lifting the low cut top in a certain in a certain manner that would be sexual i guess right yeah you're just talking about thirst traps now well start like fashion is if it's tasteful i think you know tasteful is fine tasteful is fine what about bathing suits if if it's not all your photos if, if you're at the beach. If it's all your photos, I mean, that's another one, too. It's like, oh, okay, well. Okay. I'm super judgy, though. It's like, okay, let's say a lot of bathing suit photos. And like, well, okay, this person spends all their time on the beach. I'm going to think that because it's stupid to think that. But I would think that. And like, I, I don't spend that much time on the beach. Could I really hang out with somebody who spends this much time on the beach? And then left. <laughs> Unless they're really hot. And then that's right. <laughs> For me, it's more like, aside from my own personal choice, it's just like, how are you representing yourself? Yeah. And are you trying to mislead people or are you trying to be honest about who you are? So just if it was just based on photos, like I said, are you taking a straight on angle, which is like the most honest angle of how you look? Or are you taking it really high? Cropping out the arms. And... <laughs> Cropping out the arms, having your, your hair your here. Your hands so like this. Place, <laughs> you know. You guys got me questioning my own pictures not. <laughs> when they no, do those, I, like I, I didn't know about the it's If it's over filtered, oh, Nini, your, your profile's um, fine. If it's, over, if it's overexposed, so it's all white and no shadow, I think you're just trying to hide something. So I'd rather, I'd rather just like have honesty through representing yourself, because then if if that's how you if that's how you see yourself on social media or in a, a dating profile, that's probably how you're gonna show up on the date. Okay, question. Oh. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to ask, like, because uh, I consider myself, like, kind of a weird person. Like, I think my Quirky. profile was too normal in the beginning. So I, I felt like the people I was going on dates with maybe thought something differently. They, they expected someone a little more, I don't know, normal. different. Normal. Define normal. Define normal. What is normal? Um, Boring. I don't know. Like, I just Good. like to talk about weird things, and I, I like to laugh a lot. And you know, so I thought maybe I would throw more of my personality. Like, maybe I wasn't showing enough of my personality into my profile. So then I like had a picture of me as a piece of pizza, and uh, yeah, then people matching with me almost like it was they were too weird. <laughs> oh, so <That's> extreme. <laughs> like, you made yourself involved. into bait for the weirdos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, like, is there anything from a guy's point of view when you're looking at a dating profile that you're like, I would not match with this person because it's too much? Okay, may I interject? Because I'm glad you brought up that question in that way, too. After Johnny's point was, I get to a point where you're trying to um, portray yourself as accurately as possible as to who you are. But are you also trying to engineer your profile to attract those you want to attract to, like a specific, mm -hmm. like in this sense, you said you were, it was too maybe plain, normal, kinding, uh, ki sounding, so that you were attracting too normal. And then you add this extra kind of quirky photo of you as a pizza, and then all of a sudden you attracted the extreme other end, it was too much, right? So like some sort of balance. I... Nini, with let's okay. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say okay. I'm, I'm. I'm gonna call you out on on your profile that we just showed us, and uh, don't take this 
Oh man. As an offense, but here, let's add some uh, some hotness stuff. Okay. Um, you use a lot of emojis. Do Can you I put it back on? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, if, if people want to see, it, sure. Uh, but do you, because you use a lot of emojis, do you feel that gives off a certain kind of uh, um, character, like personality trait from you? And is it someone? Is it something that you would like also to get back from the people that you chat with? They they, they use a lot of emojis too when they communicate. Uh, not per se. I'm not that judgy of others. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I personally like to use emojis myself because it's it's an easy way for me to express how I feel okay. in chat. Mm -hmm. It shows my emotions more. And if someone else does it, fine. If they don't, fine. The way they perceive it is their opinion. I don't care. Okay. And I'm very in, in, in what's the word, indifferent in about it. Mm -hmm. Back to Paige's question then, your like insight as to you know how do you want to portray yourself so you match more but do you want to just match more with like a, a general population of of men or do you want a specific type of man to match with you like is there a like a target oh there's definitely a target right so but the question is like adding the weird or the quirky pizza photo did you feel like it it narrowed it down too much or was there was there like a wasn't it narrowed it down too much it moved the entire target too much okay so you know like i i would like someone spontaneous and fun and open to dating pizza i guess i don't know i the pizza was too much but like <laughs> there there's certain people that would see like a pizza onesie and be like oh that girl's weird and i think those people are too boring for me like i want someone that right. would just think that's funny and so yeah i put some more creative photos in and then it was yeah it did not go the way i planned it it's not always well, easy to hard. find like-minded people on a dating app <laughs> yeah I so think, i think i think as a marketer like for me it's always like audience validation which is you have an image of what you think you're trying to attract. Uh, so is what you're putting out there going to attract what you want? Uh, and yes. that's why you just have to test. You know, you got to like, okay, is the pizza alpha going to work? Is, is the sombrero hat going to work? Maybe, maybe yeah. you, you can test the pizza outfit and just show like the top half. So Question, <laughs> are you able to see the people who swipe right on you? Uh, yeah. Before yes. they before swiping, you mean before? No, before you swipe on them, are you able to s the ones that swipe oh. on you already? Can you see them? Can you see their profiles and pictures? Uh, yeah. If you pay, oh, on yeah. Hinge, on Hinge. Oh yes, they Anyone. do show on you Hinge. Can. They do show on yeah. Hinge. They do show on Hinge. Yes. Yeah, in Tinder as well. And I would go and check out what kind of person swipes right on me, and it made me question this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it made me question the kind of people who are attracted to me, so to speak. Right. Dede said it in thing, chat here. He's a, like, a lot of you them, have a, a pizza too. No, but a lot of the ones I've seen gave me pedo vibes as well. <laughs> they all seem to look people that are like around my parents' age. Even though I did not even put it that high. Oh. Yeah, I... a lot of them I've noticed don't look their age at all. Do you limit all. your age range, though? Yes. Yes, I do have a limit. And a lot of them look like they're past 50. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, mm. Sugar daddies. <laughs> I've heard people use Tinder to find sugar, sugar daddies as well, so I'm not surprised if yeah. they are. Yeah. I mean, they straight up put it in their bio. It's like, looking for a mutually beneficial relationship. I've come across a couple. I've come across a very hilarious profile as well. It only had a picture of a garlic bread and an entire introduction of how he's a garlic bread searching for the one. It was the most hilarious <laughs> shit I've ever read. It you made my day. Heck no. <laughs> no, it was funny, but I didn't take it seriously. Okay. okay. 
Uh, I I did screenshot it and send it to my friends to see what their opinions were, and they were like, yeah, they would they would definitely swipe on that one, and I'm like, uh, okay, I would not, but okay. I even shared it to my parents and my brothers, and they found it extremely creative. It's like different point of views I've got from it, but me personally, I would not have swiped right on that. So no in, no. in terms of I love I love garlic bread actually, but it goes new. really well with like pizza <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly uh, but i just i just uh, didn't find it serious it felt like he's just on here for shits and giggles so to speak in terms of the marketing part so you know you tested the water with the pizza outfit um and so but johnny's saying you test it you, you there's like a trial and error phase yeah so i like that idea what, what would gonna... you suggest to like pull that back and the, the medium ground it's like okay that was too far let's what could she do you think any ideas besides showing less of the full body pizza outfit <laughs> i've seen this pizza outfit it's pretty dope <laughs> maybe instead of using a <laughs> that's onesie, why we matched though <laughs> instead of yeah. using a one it's because you held the camera a nice that's why I'm <laughs> take a nice picture of yourself eating a pizza oh good idea with the with a good cheese pull, yeah, yeah, like it. I tend to always like. Uh, I mean, me, me personally is also candid photos. Just like it could be a group, it could be just yourself, but just like a candid laughing photo. That's so just hard to get. To like a stage. <laughs> That's what makes it so cool. <laughs> so you hire someone to follow you around and catch you candidly. <laughs> You just have friends. I think you just video them. yourself silent laughing in the corner of the room, and then you take a screen <laughs> shot from that video. Yeah, that's that's good too, actually. I have oh, a story about have a friend. Mm -hmm. So one of my friends, he's like super hippie, not hipster, like hippie, like the Metatron's cube and like the sacred sacred geometry tattoos all over. You know, so obviously he's going for a certain type of woman. And he has the man bun, long ponytail. So he's giving off the hippie vibes, straight up hippie vibes. But then he's getting the really weird girls that are really down for hippies. That are like, there's too hippie for him. <laughs> so, how can you be so too hippie? <laughs> how can you be too hippie? Uh, you don't shower. Ew, you're that's not grounded. Cool. That's gross. You're not grounded. <laughs> Level vegan. Yeah, yeah. Force veganism on everyone. I don't know. But, How um, did you help him change his profile? He did not take my advice, so I have not helped him. <laughs> okay. But he's really against like, oh, taking a photo in a nice suit or, or looking like a corporate or person in Toronto. But we lived in Toronto for like till 2018. So he was always wondering, how come I'm not attracting the women I like? You get and what you put out there. Yeah, but I was presenting myself as like, you know, a typical Toronto guy, like a suit photo, beach photo, topless, but not like straight on. I was like candid. So I wasn't trying to be overly douchey, but I was trying to show that like, okay, I'm fun, I'm casual, and your bio kind of matches. But I was attracting spiritual women. Like suit like they were I had a you know, someone who's in the Reiki, someone who's into alternative medicines and stuff like that. So I'm like, you know, maybe you're just pigeonholing yourself a bit too much into this hippie look. Try putting on a suit. Well, he didn't take the advice, but yeah, it's just interesting that like, myself. Make the profile diverse with different pictures. Okay, but the suit thing, let's say you're saying was to counterbalance the hippie vibe, but like in a year, how many times would that guy wear a suit? It's like, what? is that is that like a regular it's thing? I mean, it doesn't have to be a full suit, but just oh, like okay. something that it looks like. There are people like that. Yeah, because Toronto is all about like Toronto's a city. Toronto's materialistic, like, and it's, uh, I find I, I I realistically think that like most people will judge you on looks first. Yeah, and if they say like, oh, this guy's too alternative for me, even though I'm alternative. But, like I think he looks even more alternative. <laughs> than me. No, so so sometimes you gotta put on a slight front, even though like I never wear suits. <laughs> so, but I had a suit photo. Oh, um, should I put that back? At least okay. now I don't. <laughs> So, I mean, you balance it out. It's not like full frontal, like douchebag, like, you know, you, I think you can balance full it out. Full frontal. <laughs> Look at my shalom. I need a picture like that. I want an definitely example. No topless selfies in there. That's definitely full frontal douchebag. 
Okay. I, like I need, that, I like that I need an example to what a frontal douchebag looks like. Um, Paige and Nini. Yeah. You were setting up your profiles. Did you guys like set it up strategically or more so just like, oh, this is a nice pick. Let me just throw this pick up. Let me throw this pick up. Is it calculated? Um, Would you say it was calculated? No, not for me. I've got like so many selfies. I was just looking for the best one. Okay, and then My, mine was so? calculated. Like mine, because on Hinge you can put pictures, and then you have you can answer three questions, and you can choose what order they're in. So I tried to make my first picture just a picture of me. And then I had some other pictures that are kind of fun, like one where I'm swimming with pigs and one where I'm like swimming with crocodiles. So I didn't want those next to each other because I kind of wanted like a picture of me and then I answered a question and then a picture of me doing something fun. And then I wanted another photo of me. So I, I was slightly strategic about it. Okay, the strategy so... I had was to make it look more approachable. So... <laughs> You use primarily Hinge. Did you have the same? Uh, did you do you do you use Tinder? Do you uh, have the same? I used Tinder, on Tinder like years and years and years ago, but I haven't been on Tinder okay, like so at least four years. Hinge has those prompts, so they kind of like halfway mm -hmm. did that work for you. And do you mm -hmm. think you would have done the same thing, like say on Tinder, where all you do is just really post pictures and then write a write a bio? <clears throat> So when I used Tinder, like it wasn't common to have questions or anything. So right. it, I just had like pictures in my bio. Okay. Um, I think now like answering questions kind of cool. Like does Tinder do that? Can you actually answer questions? Or are no. you just putting a picture up of Not a question? Really. They have the vibe, they have the vibe thing now, the Tinder vibes. See that? Oh yeah, yeah. that. It's like a multi, um, it's like a multiple choice questionnaire that takes like I don't know, 30 seconds. And then at the end, if your answer is matched with various people, those people will show up in your queue next to swipe. So some similarities to build on. I don't really like the questions. They're trying to be- um, It's pointless. Kind of too, too like hip about it. I don't know. Why. It's probably because I'm older. I, the whole vibe thing doesn't even work properly because the kind of people they give me options into matching with are not my type at all. Mm. Oh. The reason I was asking, oh, sorry, just, Go ahead. Uh, the reason I was asking that was because just Johnny mentioned his like, like the different categories, like the way you like, like set it up. Cause like, I, like a lot of guys do that. They'll, they'll be like, yo, I need the, the suit pick. I need the pick at the beach. I need the pick, yep. you know, with the guys. I need the, you know, it's like categories. So I just find so that really that interesting. Like how like either uh, sex plays it. In that no, sense, I, might just be I did do that. In that, like, I did do, okay, my first picture is going to be just me, and then I want a picture of me doing something I like. And so I did try and get, like, full body outside, me doing something I like, like, first picture just being me. So I guess I, I kind of followed that. Um, they're all just natural pictures of me. I didn't do anything to fit in a category that I don't think I fit in normally. And not to take anything away from the authenticity of those pictures, Johnny, but it just like there is like you do like guys generally have some sort of like strategy and they want to display that they're not like, you know, um, pigeonholed like they have like, you know, different aspects of their personality. So, yeah. Did you I feel find... like even if you don't Sorry, go ahead. No. <laughs> I was going to say, even if you don't normally wear a suit, it is kind of nice that someone would get in a suit and take a picture just to have that variety. I was just going to ask, like, you've, stri you've strictly chosen to stick with Hinge coming from the other apps that you've tried. And is that mm. has that improved your um, experience in general? No. No? no. Okay. I think... At a certain point, I found I was getting a lot, like I started to have a bad experience with Tinder. So that's when I kind of switched to Hinge. And I, and in the beginning, I was having, a, or maybe I did Bumble first, and I, I was having a better experience. But, I mean, 
as the pandemic went on, that experience went back down again. So I, I think it right now it's out of pure laziness. Like I don't want to have to switch. That's how lazy I am right now. I've been thinking it's not per se the app itself, it's the people on it that makes it horrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I I find, you know, I ha so if I want to read a lot, I'll open OkCupid because you can write as much as you want and there's no limit. Um, Hinge, everyone says, is the most like objective one where you actually get dates. And I've, I think I've yet to go, I've maybe went on one date on Hinge in the last six years. So it's like, maybe I'm just not for Hinge. Uh, but if I just want to look at nice photos and be completely more of like image based, then yeah, you use Bumble and Tinder. Cause like they promote the photo way more than anything that they write. And it's, I don't know, is that superficial to be basing it on just physical attraction? It's a big part, I think, in terms of, I don't know. I know it's I want- yeah. All apps start with physical attraction. You have to like what you, you see before you on swipe the, on it. Uh, video game one. There's a video game dating app where there's no this. pictures. <laughs> what? And you, uh, <laughs> you make a little profile and they'll pick certain times that there's group chats. Like they'll be like, okay, this, this Thursday for 24 hours, we're opening up a group chat and it's like a free for all. There's no age limits or anything. It's a really weird app. Yeah, no. And you get a little character and you can level up. No age limits. <laughs> what? I was on it for a week. That sounds sick. And I was like, like this X is a disaster. You got like XP yeah, no, and like sick. upgrades to your weapon. <laughs> yeah, you, there's like, act I was a little ghost. Uh, so ghost. it's like the idea is cool, but it was... It the was no age fun. limit thing is not okay with me. Did you yeah, ghost? I was talking to like 18-year-olds and 70-year-olds. <laughs> I was like, holy oh, shit. Oh, whoa, whoa. That gets dangerous. Group chat, you know. <laughs> oh, group dangerous. chat. Okay, right. But you get, you still get to select like an age range? For like your... No, there's no age range. You it's don't not get a to dating select an age range. It's not a dating app? It's so weird. And there's a group chat and then you can do one-on-ones. And then if they, you can choose each other, and if you both choose each other, you level up together. <laughs> Ew. Did you ever ghost anyone on there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone there like like, what's your guys' opinion on ghosting? It was a ghost. That. Yeah, it was like, she's straight up a ghost. You have to expect it. But is your opinion <laughs> on ghosting? Ghost people? Uh, I, think, I think the definition of ghosting like people have gotten way too weird on the definition of ghosting like if you're if you're dating and then someone stops talking to you that's ghosting but if you're talking on an app a few times and then you write someone and they don't write back like i've gotten guys writing these big long responses trying to call me out and i was like bro like i just didn't get back to you fast enough that's not ghosting yeah 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 like what's yeah. everyone's definition of ghosting? I think your example is what I uh, my, my own definition as well. If you're dating the person and you suddenly just drop out of the galaxy and never contact again, that's ghosting. But if you're just talking to someone and you're only in the talking phase, you can't really count that as ghosting. You don't even know each other. Well, I'll say I'll take it like this. If you match, you have an exchange, it's back and forth. And then it's left off where someone asks a question. And if mm -hmm. that question doesn't get asked within a relatively respectable amount of That's time, let's give ghosting? it a, a few days. Let's just say a few days, a few days of no. And so not ghosting yet. So the guy's like, hmm, should I message again? Maybe I got lost in the in inbox or something. And then you follow up with a new question. You try to open up a conversation again and then and then nothing. And then it continues to be nothing. How many times is a guy supposed to try to um re refresh a convo zero that's my i rule. think at is that zero? point you should is I it think zero? at that point common sense should hit in at that point for you to know the woman is not interested in exactly no 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 I, exactly right you you give it the benefit of the doubt you okay she didn't answer this 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 right. conversation it was like active everything was good and all of a sudden not active anymore we're like, okay, maybe you just got lost in the mix, but I still am interested. I'm still attracted to this person. I'm going to message them again. But when that ends up being the last thing and you never get answered again, okay. I wouldn't consider that ghosting. That's lost interest, right? Yeah. But yeah. I, I guess if you, if, if you've reached a certain level, though, 
it's not just like a banter back and forth. But when you reach a certain level where you, I guess your conversation's gotten deeper, or maybe like you've moved out of the dating app and went on a more personal pro platform that you're one on one speaking to each other on a regular basis, yeah. and then you suddenly stop. And then, all then of a it's ghosting. Yeah. But not I if guess, again, but... not if it's an open ended question though. If it if it's just conversation kind of just stopped one time, I wouldn't count that. No. But, mm -hmm. yeah. If it if it went Ghosting. deep, let's say like that, it got deep, and you started having like attraction, not my attraction, feelings for the person, and he also like shows he somewhat has that as well, and then it, he does, he suddenly like does the disappearing act on you. That's definitely ghosting. So the ghosting implies that the other person who stopped talking to you owes you a response, right? Like that's what ghosting is. I'm talking to this person, they stopped. They led you me. on. Put it yeah, they, they let you on they for a while. Something. So how can you say if you're not dating someone, if you're just talking back and forth, it's ghosting? Like I was dating someone for a solid six months and they stopped talking to me and that was definitely ghosting and it was super awkward. But like if I just went on like even a date with someone and they didn't respond back, I would be like, okay, they're not interested. I don't think I would feel like they were ghosting me. Well, okay. They didn't respond. You went on a date. Uh, yeah. you, you messaged them back, and they didn't respond. Would you not have? So you're saying that takes the same amount of like respect as being like well, a, no, I'm, a short. I'm not saying they're a good person. I'm like it's still okay. a douche move. I just don't consider that's not my definition of ghosting. Like after every first date, I'm always like, hey, thanks for meeting up, and I will tell you that 95% of people block or like don't respond. And I think like oh that's pretty I think that rude. I think that's ghosting. That's, yeah. No, that's, that's a lack of respect and decency as a human per being for someone else. That's what ghosts do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so no, but I mean for the, for the for the first date, if you don't even like get back at them like hey you've enjoyed the time or something, I find that very very disrespectful. Even if neither one of us like liked each other, at least like be be yeah, a bit more respectful to the person. Yeah. yeah. I would never not leave like if someone sent a question i would never not answer it like why like pretend that that person doesn't exist and you don't like that's just respectful but choosing to be disrespectful there is i think part of ghosting i I'd, I'd count that as ghosting it's it's uh, just as bad to me but sometimes it's disrespect sometimes it's just like ear and like awkwardness but mm -hmm. like ghosting is like a spectrum right like there's the horrible shit where after dating for six months you just drop off the face of the earth that's terrible but then Sorry, going back to your general point about just like, I think just because we're in like a dating app world, we all somehow forgot that there's a thing called like common courtesy. Decency. <laughs> like if you want to end a conversation, there's a very neutral way to just be like, hey, like this is cool. I'm not interested. Boom. That's like, that doesn't take anything from anyone. I just find like just doesn't even have to be like a serious conversation like there's let's just say there's a back and forth and then it's just like dead air it's just like yo i'm on to the next uh talk to you later be cool whatever right oh i've got I, a different question sorry okay. that i interjected uh, uh i forgot my um social in my bio right and i've got moments where guys hit me up directly on ig mm -hmm. and they expect that i answer them how do you guys view that because most of the times I don't. Most of the time I don't say shit to these people. So you've been in contact with them in the app, and then they hit you up. No, 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 not, not at all. We didn't even match. They go straight to Instagram, yeah. right? Yeah. I think, I think, because nothing's been established as a connection there, you don't owe them a, 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 a response. Yeah, of course not. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of them, yeah. a couple of them, when I don't respond, they get really, They'll get angry. Really, yeah. Oh yeah. The incel in them come out. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's equivalent to a guy just walking to you up on the street. And yeah. You're not obliged to talk to him. Yeah. It's, it's like a cat call. Weird. Yeah. As for that six months and then dropping off the face of the earth, yeah, the action is ghosting, but I think it's far worse than that. Like, it's, it's, yeah. that's, that's next level douchebaggery. That's like, 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 that's, like that's ultimate asshole. awkward. It was, you know, the most awkward was I was so in a bubble like I wasn't thinking about it I didn't realize he ghosted me so then 
I was like, oh, that's weird. He's not replying to my text. Like, go on my day, like, the next day. Like, oh, that's weird. He still didn't reply. So I called him, and he picked up by mistake. And goes like, oh, oh, and hung up. Oh, and then I was like, oh, oh, I see what's going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I will say, though, there's, I, I learned of it. I've known of an example where, uh, you know, serious conversation exchanged through text. Uh, and also it makes it difficult, maybe time zone wise, where phone calls were difficult. And lots of texts unanswered goes for on for about a week. You you take on the, the understanding, okay, this person's ghosting, how rude, whatever, you drop. Then you find out later that it was a technical issue that like their phone like broke and they it took forever to get like a new phone or a SIM sim or whatever yeah, it I is. I assume and they like call and apologize or something though. Yeah, to open yeah. it up again, right? Your, your phone is not, not your own means for communication, right? Well, I think if it, if it reached that point, you might have already changed, exchanged other socials that you can contact in different platforms in case you have difficulties with your phones. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we both fair. lived in Etobicoke. He definitely was just ghosting me. He could have, <laughs> could have just drove to your house. Sorry, my phone I'm broke. A, I'm, Here I am. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to shoot, I'm going to shoot a girl some bail though because their experience on these dating apps, just like from stuff I've read online and from what you, you mentioned, Nini, is like vastly different. You guys get like hundreds of matches. So at some point it's just like from the, just the literal exhaustion of talking to people, you might just be like, yo, I'm not responding, you know, so. Yeah. Me, me personally, I'm extremely picky to whom I'm talking to and how people address me in text. Like, respect for me goes a long way. If you start talking like a dumbass to me, I'm not going to respond anymore. If you start talking with a misog misogynistic attitude, I'm not going to respond. Like, yeah. there's a lot of things guys would say that make me not want to talk to them. Yeah, I think it's yeah, pretty like quick to be able to decipher whether or not you're into someone. And then and then you move on from that. Like, if they take it to a, a, a level that they didn't <laughs> obviously gauge was the right kind of pace, it's like, okay... Okay, I'm not interested anymore, and that's cool. I think that's fine. That happens both ways, though. What what percentage of, of, of people who talk to you, Nini, are the people that are rude or something mistake? I'd say 60%. Oh, not bad. Okay, so it's, it's, it's or more. It's, 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 no, it's, it's, it's kind of sad me. because <laughs> I've... I've I've felt that a lot of guys on dating apps don't know how to speak to women online. Don't at all. They probably don't know how to speak to women in person either. Probably as well. <laughs> don't. Yeah. Because I have be my I've got it's I've like got an commenters. attitude problem at times. I've got an attitude problem at times. If someone comes over as very douchebaggy, I can get extremely bitchy and sarcastic. <laughs> They're not gonna like it, and that conversation is gonna go south really fast. Yeah, you don't want to mess with. So, Dude, what do people say when when you say they're douchebaggy? Like, do they just like start hitting you with pickup lines and stuff like that? Sexual or? and shit. Like, I've had people that criticized my images on the get go. Mm -hmm. like, oh. like, you, Why you, you have think to be that's a, wait, work? Wait, You have to be a certain <laughs> level of an asshole to like <laughs> me to be able to come and criticize my pictures. <laughs> that's so and I'm like, you have nothing yeah. better to do with your time. They're just trolling. Call they that don't the even... Yeah, <laughs> I've had many. I've had many guys do it, and I have the impression that they're um, they've got self esteem issues, or they felt um, what's the word um, emasculated by me. Because I've had a lot of guys also tell me that I look strong and I make them feel emasculated, and they would like some of them would come Blah. very in a in a <laughs> attack m way towards me. Yeah, just with how they guys. speak to me. Yeah. So like but, uh, when. Sorry, sorry, are you, sorry. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> so like, I feel like when two people like each other, right? There's like banter and there's back and forth. And sometimes you might like, uh, like make fun of the other person, but in a like cute joking way, right? It's kind of like, you know, just take them down a peg, but you do it out of love, whatever. Right. So there's actually like a psychological, like, tool that's been developed by uh pickup artists and it's literally called the neg and that's what a lot of guys do that they'll literally work. like yeah they'll literally like i've heard about this insult you right away <laughs> to try and like lower your self-esteem so that you like 
doesn't that does that does not work on every girl. Yeah. You have to actually have a girl who already has low self esteem for that to work on. I personally grew up in a male dominated family, so I know how guys function, and I know how to avoid those kind of behaviors and just ignore them. It doesn't work on me at all. Negging only works on low self esteem women. Oh, chat just said so. Yeah. Confirmed. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that. <laughs> you you already have to have the low self esteem yeah. for it to work. When I when I, I think that's what they're looking for. Approval. I saw a yeah. video like like t of the some dude teaching that, and I was like, what? Like, and to like to target those women though, and to be after that type of woman kind of shows off, you know, the person practicing. That's super predatory. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. It's good to know we have a a better standard in this chat, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, it's it's mind blowing how like effective just like saying hello and just literally having such a regular conversation is. Like, I, I've I've got a good example of an, a good experience. Someone I'm actually talking to continuously right now that I also met on Tinder, and what makes him different than all the thousands of matches I've had is the way he he like started the conversation with me, because. I don't like being um, flirted with. I don't like people like telling me how I look in my pictures and shit. I personally like someone that talks to me about my skills. That's why I've put it in my profile. Like you can see my tin my IG account, and this guy literally went on my IG and went through it and basically complimented me on my work. And that made me even more interested in him. Like, whoa, he's actually like, whoa, he he checked my shit out. He's interested in what I do and not what I look like. And that like made me more interested in him to even further the conversation, so to speak. And a, not a lot of guys do that. Yeah, you gotta treat off. it like a job interview. Yeah, do your sort research. Of sort of, sort of, yes. Your photos. Yeah, Please. you've got some dudes that only talk about, oh my god, you're so pretty, and the conversation only goes about your looks. And I'm like, you have no conversation skills, my dude. I've noticed that when they're really pretty, that's the last thing I'll talk about. They because they get it cause, enough times. Because they know it too. And it's like, you don't need to feed that ego anymore. But when, yeah, that's just what I do. I don't. What I, when I approach, when I used to approach, not now, but when I used to open messages, I would think of what is, what is something I could say that no one else is saying? Because if the girl's attractive, everyone else is saying obvi the obvious thing. If the girl has something witty in her, in her body, lots of people are saying the same thing. And for someone to get the same, like, trigger the same response from, like, hundreds of people, it starts to get boring. True. So, it's, I mean, I don't want to say it's, it's exactly like an interview, but, like, if, if someone is interviewing 300 candidates, don't, don't give the same response that everyone's going to give. Try and, like, do a little bit more thinking, especially if this person's getting overwhelmed by yeah. messages. My weakness is I work too hard. <laughs> I don't think a lot of guys <laughs> think that through. Well, now they should. Well, it's uh -oh. a numbers game still in the end because, again, look at the stats, like 60%, 1 in 200, 1 in 100. It's t it's tedious for those who care about the process still. Like, it's it. Uh, obviously, we're still trying to, to, to do things the right way, and we're still trying to be decent people. We're not ghosting people. We're trying to answer. And... And, and I've had those two now where, you know, I have my Instagram on my bio, but it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to answer if you slide into my DM straight on Instagram if I don't even match with you on the app, right? Like, and I've, I, that even for me was like, I felt guilty about, wow, I'm actually not going to answer this person because this person took the time to message me. But I was like, yeah, but that's just like a telemarketer or somebody calling me on the phone that it's, that's uninvited. Um, but in Some the end, I actually like it. Oh, like getting DM slid into? I guess it's another Some ego boost, like that. right? <laughs> but I guess. But in the end, still, like, let's say you're on the bus, or for some other people, they're on the can or whatever. It's a limited amount of time to invest in in the phone swiping scenario, and you're trying to be, you're trying to get yourself out there because, like. Let's say five a day, ten a day, you don't think you're getting yourself. Oh, that's why I was asking your daily swipes, guys. Like, for me, I, I'm on, let's say, six apps. I give myself about ten swipes each app, and then I'm like, I can't do this anymore. And then I'm 
So that's oh. like a total of about 60 swipes. Because that, like, it, uh, I don't know. It gets, it reaches the point where. I don't think it's tiring. Where... Yeah, it's I don't count tedious. your swipes at all. You don't what? Oh, you don't count your swipes? I don't, I, no. It's just until you're tired? <laughs> I'm gonna have something better to do, I guess. Yes. Right. <laughs> I actually, See, on the I bus actually or on the only camp. go. <laughs> I only go on dating apps during my extremely bored times of the day. <laughs> That's when I use them. Other yeah. than that, I'm busy with other things. I have a life. I mean, Johnny, your your process, your your model seems to have worked. Like, Both, what's model? Well, you know, one suit. One beach photo, uh, a meme regarding salty, candid, candid beach photo. Candid. So you don't look like a douche. How about right. doing an experiment? How about you guys all take that advice and test it out oh. for a month? All right, somebody take a oh, candid photo months. of me on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I want results by the end of this month. <laughs> no, so we'll follow back up. No, but like before, let's say that, let's say your scenario there, Johnny, was like a rare, like a, yeah, a rarity, as Dan would say, but like. Not a lot of people go and hit the first one, right? Before that, do you remember much online dating app experience where it was, it seemed a little bit like tedious, like what we're describing, like this search, this ongoing search with no results, with no, with no luck. Do you remember going through an experience similar like that before? I think when I started, um, I was out before that, I was like in a five year relationship, never Date, went on a date till I was like a real date till I was 29 years old. So like, I was just really intimidated by like, dating in general. Couldn't even pick up women in person. So Tinder, online dating was like the... You know, so it's at, the, at the outset, it was really not the right people. And I think after like eight months, I finally figured it out. Like the like, science. The, the whole testing thing. Uh. Attracting the, the people that I'm interested in. Yeah, but I still had, like, you still get hit, hits and misses even if you think you figured it out. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we're all looking for I the one. Being really selective. Generally. Being really selective and then just being careful with the way that you talk to people helps to, like, I guess, mutually both people to understand if you're a fit. And then you're not going on dates with, like, really boring, <laughs> boring people. Yeah. Well, people that are not a good fit for each other. I, I guess it's more like don't be desperate because if you're desperate, you're just going to attract people that you have no interest in. Johnny, yeah, if, you watch, time. if you watch the VOD on this later, you'll see the chat. It's hilarious. They're all talking about your abs. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, just, can I just address something that was talked about in the chat earlier? Please do. Uh, so everyone was talking about like how teasing isn't the same thing as negging and i wasn't saying they were the same thing i guess more to my point was like give it as like a dude having powers right say teasing is his powers now dude is in a loving relationship he's going to use those teasing powers for good because like what teasing does is Say you're just like talking with your partner or whatever you like you tease them but you tease them because you love them and you love the whatever flaw it is that you tease them about you love that about them so they might get they might feel away briefly but they can recognize that they can be vulnerable with you and that like increases their affection for you or whatever so it's like this guy's using his powers for good so what like pickup artists have done is like dial that all the way left and and they like neg women i think they're still kind of playing with that weird psyche of like vulnerability and like wanting to like crying yeah you know so think, think it's definitely not the same thing it's definitely not the same thing but it's like yeah it's like negative negging uh, it i feel like negging is it's always spectrum. someone you don't know it's not like you're nagging people. You don't go on a couple dates with someone and well, maybe you could keep nagging them. I guess I've never like nagging is never good. <laughs> no yeah. matter the situation, nagging yeah. is like somewhat consensual. I feel like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. maybe I just a lot of people are trying to neg from watching these YouTube instructions and just doing it wrong, and so it's always wrong. 
it's always, always wrong. Negging is horrible. Okay, I mean, it's called negging. Yeah. Negative. Ugh. Exactly. <laughs> the, the issue is that a lot of people watch these videos without actually knowing the full meaning behind it. So they're right. following a step-by-step -step program or system, but then they're applying it to a context that doesn't fit it anymore. So if it's just the wrong context. Hey, babe. I mean, it might work for some people and it might hit the month, but most people, I think, are using it wrong. It only they, works if you have low self-esteem. Yeah, even yeah, if it works, too. it's still horrible. Yeah. Nagging is a form of manipulation. It's never good. Yeah. Agreed. Yep, that's true. Chat just brought a... Oh, it's off topic. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I thought we were going to evaluate something if it was uh, nagging or not, or banter or teasing. Well, we'll save it for later. I actually, um, yeah. I have to step away. Yeah, man. But it's been awesome hearing everyone's. Thank you for staying longer, dude. For being out of the game for three years. Yeah, man. It's good to see you. Yeah, you too. Yo. If you have another one, let me know. Yes, you'll. You're always welcome to join in. I'll let you know when we do this, or we do a follow up too. All right. Take care, guys. Thanks, good night man. or good morning, wherever you are. Bye bye. bye. Peace, peace. Peace, show. Johnny Low, everybody. Uh. <laughs> Oh, so jealous. Anyway. <laughs> jealous of what? Oh, just, it worked for him. Well, actually, I can't say <laughs> apps don't work because they've worked. Like, they work. I've in shot the app like, weddings. I've shot Tinder weddings. What, what, is, what do you mean? Oh, you mean like they met through Tinder? I've been the photographer at several weddings where people met. Where they met, met through Tinder. Apps. Yes, yes. So I know, and yeah, my sister. My sister, they met on Plenty of Fish. I shot that wedding too. So here, another. I know no one who's gotten a relationship out of a dating app. Really? Not even a relationship? That's pretty Zero. sad. Zero. Uh, then again, I, like I said before, it depends where you are. Because over here, the culture is different. Like Europe. Yeah. Here, the mindset and the culture is completely different when it's around dating apps and dating in general. So your chances of getting a serious relationship is lower. Oh. Uh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. More laissez-faire. From what I've heard, like, uh, particularly mid Middle Eastern, like, like there's still very much like male chauvinist oh, misogyny that, that with that. like that patriarchal kind of belief, like that women belong in the kitchen and whatever at home. And that's not what I mean, though, because over here people are extremely loose. Let's loose. put it like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? <laughs> laissez-faire. Was Let's that, was say, that mm, I don't want to be offensive because I don't know if Dutch people are, are watching this thing and they're going to come send me hate. I'm probably sleeping right now. It's fine. <laughs> but from all the... I've lived here for 12 years and I've never dated one Dutch person. Uh, not only because of the culture, but the mindset here regarding dating and stuff and how they view foreigners like me per, per se. I'm like exoticized like crazy here, so I'm definitely not going to date anybody. Right. But also how how they use these apps is mostly for hookups. The hookup culture here is rampant, like holy hell. Yeah, people, everybody here, here just too, like though. fuck around. I feel yeah, like it's, that's what Tinder and Bumble I, have become here. Now I have more success using Tinder matching with people outside of the Netherlands and that are actually serious. Right. The ones I find here, they are never serious. Do they put that like, in like... No, they don't even put it. They make it seem like they are, but along the lines you figure out these guys just want to tap your booty and leave. Right. <laughs> like are dick pics still a thing? Like do people still send unsolicited dick pics? I thought oh you couldn't God. send pics on Tinder. No, not via Tinder, but that's if they get your socials, they're definitely gonna right. try. Right, if they get the socials. Damn. Instagrams and Snap. I've, I've had guys who tried it in a smooth way. Send you like, a smooth way. They Would you they like to see my they don't, <laughs> they don't straight on throw it at you, but they, be like, they, they get like very concerned and ask you, like, they, they, they play the role of this, you know, sensitive person that's insecure about his dick size and wants, <laughs> oh and wants, your, opinion. wants, he wants your opinion on his penis and he wants to know what you think if it's possible that he's going to get good girlfriends if his, his dick size is this and that and ask you, like, you know, via that if you want to see it. And I'm like, no, no, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but will man, I my get heart good hurts girlfriends? hearing this. <laughs> I 
Oh, fuck. Oh. I've Anyone had people can... use so many weird st strategies to just send me their dick pics. I mean, it hey, does work. Right? Uh, like, why does it does not, it does not oh, work? It does know, not work. I don't know if my penis somewhere. is big enough. So, can I send you my pin a pic of my penis? Oh my god. <laughs> yes, it's like that. At least they it's even took so the time sad. to premise that. Like, it's so sad. Some people just send it. And you're like, oh god, I can't unsee it. I find that's like, why that 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 is why I don't send out my Snapchat because most of them use Snapchat to just send it. They wouldn't say anything. You just it. bam, take in your face. Yeah, <laughs> Snap is that culture. I find when they advertise their Snap on their bio, it's for something else. It's like OnlyFans or something. Yeah. Or like, wait, do girls do that too? Do you just get like slam clam jams or um, what's, a, what's a dick pic version of a, a girl thing. dick pic? I will say yeah, it, it it wasn't. Girl ever sent me that picture? I'm throwing away my phone. <laughs> I've I've oh, Tuesday. I've gone some unsolicited um like boobies like ma masturbation videos or po photos I'd say like oh. in the act, um, nice. and so and that was unsolicited. So that was like oh, uh, I guess this is where you wanted to take that. Um, and then you have the others where it's a snap, and then it's like. They use the Snapchat to kind of promote their OnlyFans page and they have teasers so that if you take the snap and you swipe up or whatever, click the link, then you can pay money to see the whole thing or something like that. Mm. So it's Have very... you ever kept talking to someone after they sent you a nude unsolicited? No, no, no. That'd be weird. Would be I mean, weird. I don't know where the conversation would go, that. but... But I mean, if 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 it, if it was like, if there was an established attraction in the beginning, but then I it's don't not know. really unsolicited, is it? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's not unsolicited if both sides wants it. <laughs> the, right. So okay, so I have kept talking to someone who sent me unsolicited dick pics, but it was in a different context. It wasn't on a dating app. Okay. It was just. Uh, Straight text. Random rugby, <laughs> random rugby players, <laughs> random rugby players that I've shot photographs of. Right. And sometimes it was the whole team at once. Right. So, but then, but it was more. Right. I don't know. For so, it wasn't sexual somehow. Are you sure? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm Are you so sure confused? you just weren't desensitized? Are you oh, that is so Are you, confusing. Are you telling me right now, the whole team sent you pictures of their yes. penises. Yeah, it was the whales. Yes. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. Okay, by, so maybe it was. By shout accident. out to the whales. Maybe they team. meant to send it by someone else. So I've uh, I've photographed I've photographed a lot of rugby games, and so you end up adding a bunch of people all at once to social like Facebook or something because it's like, oh yeah, I want those game photos. Like yeah, for sure. And then you know, like sometimes you're in a group chat with like the whole team, and it starts and it's like a waterfall. And you know oh, what? I oh. don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they probably Sorry. accidentally <laughs> sent that in. <laughs> okay. I, I thought you I meant they were all in the same room. Yes, they yes. All... No, so I've gotten I've gotten shower photos where they're all in the shower. Oh. Okay, and this is deliberate to get your reaction, right? Your shock reaction, right? Yo. I don't know. It wasn't on a dating app and it it wasn't like but, none of these people had ever hit on me. This was a um, group chat, you said. Yeah, I feel now, like it was more just funny. But if you think, I think, this, they, but I think they forgot you're in that group chat. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll straight it's up. Possible. I'll, possible. I'll say. So they said it to themselves. If, if you're, <laughs> that's that right. That, no, that's Guys what I'm saying. That. No, that's what I'm saying though. Like I feel they forgot she was in there. <laughs> if it was deliberate to get you to have a shock reaction, even if it's playful on their end, but you're you're the only individual in there to have the shock reaction. I don't necessarily, and but obviously, I mean, I know you like you're. You okay, there's a things, commenter saying things. that men don't send dick pics to each other. That's not true because I've had guy friends who Wait, told lie. me about they actually do it to <laughs> yeah. each other. One just I, when, one of them just questioned me about it a few weeks ago to get my opinion yes, because he thought that girls do it as well with each other. I was like, that no. Uh... <laughs> not me and my friends. We do not send naked pictures to each other. Of ourselves. I did well, that's send just... a photo of my cleavage <laughs> to a friend recently, actually, and she was a girl. Yeah, I don't do those. So things, there's evaluative but... purposes for that, for sure. See, if you send it with this, with, I guess, 
the confidence that it's it's being for evaluative purposes of some sort or you yeah. know that it's not going to have a shock if if you know that the person receiving it isn't going to have shock then that's times it's evaluative reason sometimes the person is secretly closeted and wants to see his friend's reaction to it because i've heard that as well sometimes it's also just funny mm, probably oh, depending on how close know. they are and their big jokes nope. I don't know. I don't know what's. If my, if my boy ever said, "Hey, man, want to <laughs> take pictures of our dicks?" I'd be like, "Hey, man, you gotta relax." <laughs> but, uh, but like, I'm not so gonna. In my case, have you my phone? It's a sports anymore. team, right? Like, if you're on a sports team and I you're mean, always I... showering naked, maybe it's yeah. like less shocking to just be naked around each other, and it becomes more funny with them. But then. But then you're in there now, so it's but then like I'm in the chat too. Yeah. Exactly, and if you're the only the other person in there, is do you know if that behavior existed prior to you being in that chat too? It definitely did exist prior, and it definitely exists long after I left the chat. I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. But all of us, we, we know about that being a thing between sports guys. And close friends, male friends then, in my opinion, because me and my female friends don't do that. And then my friend basically just confirmed that to me that they do it, which I found was freaking weird. But yeah. Like, if I was on a, on a, on a sports team and, like, professional making money and I'm in the shower, I still don't think I'd be, like, flaunting it out there, you know? Like... <laughs> Day day TV, I'm just like you. I would I, have left the chat as well. I'd just be like, you know what? I'm just going to use the single stall instead. And <laughs> be like, I'm showering when, no stalls. I'm shower when I get home. I, I'm just showering when I get home. <laughs> I'm just putting myself right now in the in this, in this scenario. If one of my female friends suddenly send me one of their pictures like that, how I would handle that shit. I mean, you got to think about the reasoning there. It's like, there's got to be... They, they the need incentive? to know who they need to know who they send those pictures to, knowing that they're going to have a good reaction or a bad reaction. What if I need? Like you, you need to personally know me to know not to send me those things. <laughs> so when they re refresh Instagram and see they lost one follower, like that <laughs> it's like, uh, Dej, Dej, you still there? <laughs> and it's like, oh my god, how could you? He ghosted me. I'm so offended. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next level, if you are dating someone, because I know some people never send nudes, do you send nudes to people if they ask if you're dating? Or is there like, is it never, or does it take a certain level of intimacy to get there? The last you gotta one. Be my boyf the you last gotta be one. my boyfriend. You gotta be my boyfriend for a couple of years. <laughs> and that's that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I don't trust that shit. It's on the internet. It's online. Yeah. No. Yeah. There's a certain level. The internet, it's forever. There's a certain level of trust. <laughs> and you've got that those. you got to take those, a risk those, too. But yeah. Those um guys that use it as um revenge porn. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Right. That's illegal now, though. I think you can't be all willy nearly throwing your shit online. But remember, it's, it's only if, if yeah. I think you can get thrown in jail for that now. It's only that if you if. Like, I, I looked at it like this. It's like, okay, let's say someone tries to use something like that against me. I don't think they could. It's just like, okay, you want to share it with the world? Go ahead. It's like, oh, well. Depends how embarrassing it is. I guess. Like I've had two guy friends come to me, say, oh, my God, Paige, like, this person is blackmailing me for $20,000, and I don't know what to do. And I asked them, well, what? What do they have? And yeah. he said they both guys had videos of themselves masturbating to the camera, face on camera. And they were like, what do I do? And I was like, post it first. <laughs> the only way. Yeah. 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 You take away the power. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Or or let them post it anyway and just don't pay because it's going to be the Tell same result anyway. Tell like... to get off Facebook <laughs> and post it. <laughs> Deepfake. It'll be freeing. Just, oh, I have a just friend claim it was deepfake. Just say, ah, uh, it's deepfake. It's not me. Oh, deepfake. I like that answer. I have it's a friend. Dude, that's Photoshop. It's like, say your name. A... And you're like, uh, uh, MFJ. Uh, oh, no, that's, uh, that's, uh, it's an audio dub. Uh, no. They... Dude, that's Photoshop. I have a friend who that's sent his dick pic to the girls and they posted it on Facebook and to his parents. Oh, man. Jesus. 
It, was well. it unsolicited? Um, no, it was not they, unsolicited. They asked oh, they him asked for him. it, See, and then they basically oh, used it against him. Damn. I mean, there's a certain that's, level of discretion money, and, and trust. Mm. If it happens... Oh, well, I did it to myself. <laughs> <I'll> just... <laughs> this girl said, post it first. <laughs> Applause for that. Everybody Be like, does it. Not, oh, and, NSFW, oh, not safe for work. You show it on your wall for your like fam and friends. Do not click... <laughs> If You've you're... got big balls if you do that. Like, listen, man. Very daring. Yo, y'all just gotta stay off Facebook for like 72 hours. <laughs> yeah. That's not enough. A week. Give it a month. Oh my god, shameful. Oh, shit. Oh. I think it's... Well, yeah. It depends on who it is, obviously. Like, if someone who is very oh, ashamed and have a lot of... It's crazy. If you've got a conservative family, you're screwed. I don't know, but a camera right up in your face, too? Who would do that? <laughs> Yeah, How did they get first? Well, why? How what what, what, what person? <laughs> <laughs> At least two people. Who <laughs> would? Why would they do why? that? Why are you that horny? <laughs> you need to find yourself. A <laughs> I think that was intention. The, you, this you could tell whoever that was person like had that in mind. Like if if you think about it, like that was the plan all along. To, like go after this guy who's. It's got like some self-esteem issues, maybe some like insecurities. Specifically, Obviously ask him to point the camera on his. <laughs> no, but like, bad luck that, with I mean, toxic people. but that wasn't his idea to be like, show your face. <laughs> like, you ever seen that meme? Yo, they caught you in 4K. What? You ever seen that meme? Yo, they caught you in 4K. No. Oh man, I gotta send it to you guys. Yes, it's let so me see that. <laughs> Are you the There baby? was someone I dated, and I didn't. I I know, like he asked for nudes pretty early on, and I didn't really trust him. Yeah. So every time he asked for a nude, I would Google what he asked for and just screenshot. You know, no faces or anything. Yeah. And just send him that. Did he buy it? And it? We ended up dating for a solid year, and once I started, it was so much easier than taking real photos that I did it the whole relationship. And only years later, he contacted me and said, like. There's a photo of you on a porn site that I went on, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Ooh. And then he sent it to me, and I was like, "Oh, I forgot! Like none of the new But wait, wait a minute! You guys dated so long, and he couldn't tell the difference on the picture. Seriously, the real though, date? like even the screenshots, some of the people like they were like Hispanic or like uh, like some of the people we had different skin colors. He, he that just, dude needs glasses. He, yeah. he needs glasses. You know? Yeah, he so, what he wanted. So he, he bought it oh every God. time. Every time he Very bought gullible. it. That... Never questioned it. <laughs> and you never, like, you know, thought twice about that? But, but wait a minute. But wait a minute. He could have recognized it on a porn side, but he couldn't recognize it. the difference on your body. Like, in person? No. Uh -huh. like, That's no. weird. Lights off all the time, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't, ah. I don't really, like, we only saw each other maybe once a month. So we were dating a year, but really we went on, like, 12 dates. Like, was, we didn't we didn't live in the same city. Was he participating too, sending you stuff too? He just had his face in it, so I knew it was him. Oh, he had his face in it too. See, you were using it against you. <laughs> it was I all part of the ploy. <laughs> you could be $20,000 richer him, right now. <laughs> Like, I guess that was immoral of me, but... No, that was smart of you. <laughs> nah, yeah, no one got hurt. I would, <laughs> I would... I would... I mean, the judger that I am, it kind of... Yeah. it. I hurt your feelings? No, I, I see what... You call that a relationship for a year. I, I wouldn't necessarily call that anything that took it to a serious enough level. You know, I mean, that... I it's. There's dishonesty it there. Was a year. You know, yeah, but once a month, I know you're probably chatting daily, right? It's a relationship, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So but why I mean, would you want someone's nudes? I'm I don't know. Like... Something, so, something about it with the sense of maybe just lack of authenticity, and then him believing it was actually real. Something about that exchange kind of invalidates that relationship. Okay. In my so there's a perception. loophole. I wasn't immoral because we weren't really dating. I'll take it. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe I don't know. Did you did you see like a serious future with him? Um, but you? you know what? To be fair, like even after a year when we broke up, it was like 
over and I was like, okay, like you're right. It wasn't, um, it, I was never super invested. So good call actually. Cause I feel like, first of all, he kept asking, you even prompt, you, 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 you said it in that manner. He kept asking early on and you, you weren't at the point where you trusted him yet. And so you okay. chose to uh, partake in that behavior of sending him screenshots or whatever. I mean, I mean, that's a bad read on his part too. Like, you know, like it's maybe it, yeah. that's it worked out for the better. Maybe it just took a little longer than it should have. I don't think that should have lasted yeah. an hour, uh, a year, but <laughs> glad, glad you're not out there. So, but even Maybe if you so. were, if you were first, just show it first. Rick, you then you're use. fine. Oh, I'll <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't do like Google reverse search or something like right away. <laughs> he obviously didn't care. Post yeah. this <laughs> How do you want to post that picture? Uh, yeah, I'll post it on, uh, uh, so guys, there's chat in Discord too, if you go to live stream chat. Um, download, oh, yeah, okay, fine, desktop, save, I'm gonna send it, uh, first I'll show it in the, in the stream, and then, where did I save this from? This is, this is, this is Deji's, uh, Photo that he sent. There. Who's e Square? Esquire? Me. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. Deji. That's, yeah. Oh, sorry. Let me add you. Esquire. I don't understand what's going on in chat. Who's does in dazed bat and so you debate? Hold on here. Okay. What? <clears throat> You're sharing your screen. I was like, oh shit, what's happening with my computer? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. From before the pandemic, were we all single before the pandemic? And then when the pandemic was announced, were we all single and still single? <laughs> you were in a relationship? Wait. No, I was in a relationship. Bef like when the during the initial part of the pandemic? Before. Before, okay. So have you noticed, this is what I think, and it's not, it's hopefully supposed to be like somewhat encouraging, but like the pandemic has kind of inflated the users in all these apps. Like there's way more saturation in them, which unfortunately also just means there's way more to filter through that are, that are probably not the people we're after. Yeah. But right. it's nice to hear still that like there are individuals out there who still think the way we do it's just it's just a lot harder to find them <laughs> or maybe a lot of them are giving up but if they are giving up what are they resorting to i have no idea a Would lot of them just met. they just use tinder to socialize nowadays i think they don't yeah. take it seriously i have like met some super cool people even if it wasn't as like it didn't result in dating like i have met a yeah. handful of super cool people on dating apps me too. A lot of my online friends that I game with, that I'm really close with too, I met on dating apps and dating websites. Yeah. You know what's funny? Uh, just all got friends. When I, was sh <laughs> I was shooting um, heavily in like 2018. Is it 2018? Yeah, 2018. I met a lot of models on Tinder. Okay. A lot of them, like up to like 10. Like strictly just like, hey, I'm a photographer. I'm just looking to fill up my portfolio as like fast as possible. It's actually really effective. Wait, you had to match with them first to do that? Like, yeah. or you slid into their Instagram DMs? I, I would match with them. And then because okay. they would because I actually had that in my like profile. So like oh. it would mostly be with people that were actually into that, you know, yeah. like into photography and stuff like that. So it yeah. kind of worked out. On that note, okay. I've got a friend who literally was um, approached by a company on Tinder. To, to model? <laughs> no, a normal biz, um, um, design company. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like he matched with this girl and the girl just started the whole conversation as a job, literally a job interview. It was a job <laughs> interview. Oh, she used it for that. That's, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> it was okay. super weird. That's interesting. I mean, I've heard that they're like, F just say, you know, we'll take your photos for Instagram and put that on my bio and I would be busier, but I don't really want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to become that. 
Mm, people market themselves differently. Instagram boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, it's like you can. You, there's there's a there's a legit way to do it on that app. It's like unorthodox, but you can still like make it work. Whatever gets you your money. <laughs> so tell me though, Dej, I know you were upfront about it that that's what you were marketing in terms of like you were looking for a professional purpose. Did you have any interest in any of them that you matched with? I mean, like, I was looking for aesthetically specific looking type of like models. Okay, so this isn't so, dating advice. This is finding a model advice for work. Well, it was dating. Advice. It was like da dating app. It was a dating app topic. So you know, we kind of just went on that tangent. So I just remembered that there was actually a period where I was mm. strictly using Tinder for photo like photography for talent. Yeah. Where was Tinder when what when I was a model then? Oh my god. Hey, your <laughs> Instagrams. Can I add you guys? Sure. All right. Post the uh, socials. Mine's, mine's I, S -S oh yeah. Do you guys mind if I put them all in the YouTube description? Like, do you guys want to be? Like, I don't mind. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, I'll do that. Um. I'll, I'll Did I just put it here on Discord here on the live stream or on the live stream what? chat? Yeah, you can type it there too. And you can just y'all can click it there. <clears throat> but yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe this could be a multi-part series thing that we can revisit Shit. again. Hopefully we have nice updates in the next one. <laughs> Positive news, negative news, lawsuits, I don't know. Lawsuits? <laughs> You're, are you all in um, Canada? Yes. Uh, yeah, Mississauga. Mm -hmm. Johnny was um, Malaysia. Malaysia, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You should follow his socials. I'll, I'll post that too. Um, he's got one minute wisdoms about like relationships and stuff. <laughs> Johnny. Oh. Cool. Yeah, I'm here trying to book a flight to LA. Oh my God. <laughs> Shit. Like, is that is this tra is travel like cool again? I guess it is mm. now, right? No, actually, there's a travel ban for people in Europe to go to the U.S. Oh shit! Yeah, they're really enforcing a lot of strict rules now. Like the end of the month here, we're not allowed. If you're not vaccinated, you're not allowed to go to any kind of uh, restaurants and places like that. So it's becoming yeah, like France. Yeah. It's starting to become like France here. Yeah, so it would be pretty difficult for you to book a flight to LA then. <laughs> oh, me and my mom figured out a way to do it, though. No. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. What's the purpose? Like, why are you, Why do you want to head out there? I'm visiting my bro. I haven't seen him in years. Uh... And go shopping. Yeah, Canada's... Well, yeah, all the numbers are bad again. We're going to yeah, get another... Right influx of uh, unwanted users on these apps again i'm sure <laughs> i thought i, I thought this this designed. oh what's poorly designed it's the apps like they i feel like they could be designed way better well because like more i feel like they're all money grams now like there are people yeah. who live to st the, if i paid i think if i paid yeah. on a monthly basis i do think i'd be busier Cause like it's part of that algorithm where you'll show up in front of more people and they'll promote your your profile ahead of more people and I mean otherwise why are they increasing that money why because they know it's it's working like people are buying it right so I people just, are desperate I just don't want to I don't want to it's too much I'd rather spend on alcohol or something <laughs> or pizza spend it on alcohol. <laughs> Like five thousand dollars worth of alcohol. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys can click Johnny's uh, Instagram there and check out his uh, his match. His awesome Let's see. match. Me boy ora. Mhm. Mm Miranse. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Anu low. Oh, follow back. Oh snap! Let's follow me. Oh shit, my bad, dude. Mm. Yo, he's still dancing, eh? Yo, respect. Yeah. He has yeah. so many fun pictures. It's from his dating up. Is from his dating profile. 
can still. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> yeah, I hardly have like pictures. He has, he has enough uh, uh, candid beach photos too. Like he's got a whole library to use. <laughs> Not in a suit though. <laughs> Not in a suit. That's true. See, but he needed that to balance. That was the only pretentious photo he used. Was the suit. <laughs> It's cool. Mm -hmm. It's cool when you're, you get to travel and take a lot of photos like that. See, that's the thing. So, I used to have more like travel photos. And, you know, you see on so many bios that a lot of people enjoy traveling, like traveling. But we haven't been able to travel like in the last two years. So, you can't really put up a traveling photo because then it's not current and it's not really what you look like. Maybe. I still put up, I have a traveling photo on mine just because it's like interesting. It's like a scuba diving pic. Right. But yes, I have thought that, that wow, this is like wildly out of date now. Yeah, that's one of my concerns. Like, I, I used to have a IG profile with like personal pictures on it, but it was giving me negative <laughs> reactions or more like, yeah, reactions I didn't want. So I basically deleted everything and just made it about my art. And I do throw like once in a while pictures of myself in it. But, but would, you, would rest, you I keep it artistic. Would you not just maybe keep a personal one that's private? No. Too much no, work too much having work. to like juggle two accounts. Change accounts. Or not. It is a little yeah. annoying. I don't really like the system there too, but yeah, I have a business yes. one. And a if it's personal. like personal thing, then I only use the story for that since it's temporary. Mm. but like yeah. I, I had one um suggestion where i used to put you know i like snowboarding or basketball and all my interests but they're like but you have that in your photos you don't have to write it in the bio too if it's in your photos do you agree would you agree what? that it's redundant if i write down the things i'm into if they're already in the photos if you have photos of you doing something, I'm going to assume that's something you like. Right. When guys have photos playing golf or fishing, those are two things I never want to talk about, so I usually swipe left. Right. Yeah, fishing for me too is a... Uh, I, like, I think I it think depends I on the people that <laughs> are searching. Like Some people don't really go that deep into people's profiles. Like In my case, at times I really skim through things and I don't really bother myself with what their pictures could probably represent about them right. unless unless there's something really eye-catching on their pictures then i'm gonna be like hey whoa this is different let me like go deep into this but majority of the time is not no skim skim through i feel like when we were talking about earlier about crafting our bio and to best accurately represent us but also now we're thinking about crafting it in a way to we that we attract who we want to be with in the end like i feel like i would want someone who who does the same not necessarily the same activities as i do but like has the same kind of uh approach to doing it you know like when i see let's say a, a, an account where sure they're attractive but every single photo on their instagram is like the same face like selfie look thing or the same photo all the time but just maybe slightly slight differences it, it it lends me to question it's like okay well what kind of person like what kind of substance really could you hope to get you from don't that? worry like if i was you and i saw that i would worry if i start dating this person they're gonna make me take so many photos of them <laughs> yeah right <laughs> all my time is gonna go Yo. into being an instagram boyfriend exactly mm. What's up, Dej? What's up? You say yo, and you're like, you're like, you're like leveling up. Here. I was, I was gonna say, I was gonna say something, but I was like, maybe I should. No, just, just do it. <laughs> the premise is there already. We're ready. You guys also like use your Instagram as a way to date or fish out people. What do you mean? Like what you just said, you purposely, strategically put pictures on your IG to like lure people in, right? No, I'm saying a lot of guys do that. I don't think I do that. Well, well, maybe not necessarily on 
Uh, you know what? People use Instagram for dating too now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, str- I I have lost my inhibition to slide into DMs. That's for sure. Over the last two years, for sure. <laughs> It's like if you're gonna give me your Instagram in your in your bio, you want me to look at it. So that's why I changed my told, own thoughts. Yeah, I've been told that I don't have enough photos of myself on Instagram. So like, cause I, my Instagram's connected to Hinge, and I've had several people tell me like, "Oh, I want to see more photos of you," and I'm like, "Okay, my Instagram's connected," and they'll be like, "There's like nothing yeah. of you on there." Yeah. You think that really? I thought I was like, this guy's just asking for nudes. Block. Yeah, I've oh no! That. I no, have straight never up. Had that actually with my Instagram, seeing that mine has rarely to almost no pictures of myself. I will say, Nini too. Um, when earlier, obviously, when we matched, it was like when I asked for your Instagram, it's because I also wanted to see more photos of you too. Like that's my purpose for asking for people's I, I kind of I know it goes there and it, it, I purposely changed my Instagram for to not have pictures of myself and I'm like how right. tough luck looking me up. And yeah, and and in that sense though then I guess but at least you still had content in your stories, right? Like you still showed yeah. yourself in because your stories. Because I want people to get to know me for me and not how I look like in the beginning. Right. Oh, for sure. Cuz conspicuous Ryan just said young people ask for snap. I've heard that's that's been happening. Young, so young, people, young people, people ask for Snap too. or TikTok. Your snap. Uh, old people do that. Old too. people. <laughs> don't, don't, I don't think anyone asks for numbers anymore. It's I don't even know how to ask for a number anymore. Bruh. They're just they'll resort to Instagram mm. anyway. Oh, I'll follow. People ask for WhatsApp. WhatsApp. <laughs> I've had Snapchat yeah. since Rihanna told everyone to delete that shit. Really? Yeah. The nah, amount of people snap that ask me pretty, for my WhatsApp is annoying. It's like pretty super hat. annoying. What's happening? I mean, I guess it's still like text based. So it's still like. It doesn't change the. It doesn't matter which platform you talk on. Just that WhatsApp is a personal norm where you can search up people more um, personal stuff of them. Because your WhatsApp is connected to your Facebook and you can get a lot of dirt on people like that. That's why I do not give them my WhatsApp. Also, what? just annoying. I, I don't want to have to like go to another fucking app. I'm already in the dating app. Exactly. Now, that is well. Yeah, it, it's annoying. What's your uh, so wait, would you keep them on there? Uh, when would you? When do they graduate from the app? Then at what point? A lot of people still use Facebook. <laughs> like a lot. Who uses Facebook I, still? I don't like meeting with someone if I'm just still using the app. I feel like really because let's say okay, I did that. I did that once where we were. I'm gonna say it might have been the only date I went on Hinge. And Hinge had like a 20 minute delay. So we're agreeing to meet and like where? And it was like that night. But oh, our messages were coming to each other like 20 minutes eight. late. And it was so hard to like communicate in that manner. And it's not to say that, yeah, no. probably Tinder's way faster, Bumble's faster, whatever. But like, there's a certain level of trust, I think, for me anyway, to meet up with someone in person that's like, why can't I have you in like a direct communicative way with like whatsapp or like a number or mm-hmm. instagram you know at least instagram i do like i do like there's a question in the numbers. in the twitch here they're asking they don't know the difference between the apps which uh dating, the dating app. about the dating apps yeah i think it's about a dating apps okay sorry Paige, you were saying numbers Oh, no, same reason for you. If I'm going to meet someone from Hinge, I like to exchange phone numbers because I also had something weird where I went to meet someone and they canceled, but I didn't find out until after I was already there. Right. I hate that. Yeah. 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 And I just think it's, if you're going to, if you're going to meet with me in person, it's like how much more personal can, can anything digital communication be wise than in person, you know, like. In person is the most personal. If you're willing to exchange that kind of connection, I mean, I can probably have your number at this point. You know? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think when you're already <laughs> trying to meet up in person, you're you've already been with them on a different app that actually works properly. What about voices? Would you meet up with someone that you haven't heard their voice yet? I have. I have. And how did that go? <laughs> Meh. 
I'm, I'm not exactly. <laughs> yeah i'm not a fan of that scenario it's like at least send like a voice note maybe or like if you don't want to have a phone conversation if phone conversations aren't your thing i don't know i just feel like if i'm gonna spend an hour two hours talking to you in person i don't know the voice is to me I think, anyway i think a voice is important <laughs> i've noticed also that there are people who are incapable of um reading between the lines to know what kind of person you are and if you match or not like on social medias if you're just chatting they can't really get a feeling of what you're like and if they actually like you or not because i've matched with someone and we've been chatting for literally two years before we actually met up and before that i already felt like this dude was not for me in the like five chats we've had but, why but you, you know I'm a curious person, like I said. I, see. <laughs> I, wanted, to, I wanted to see where that went. Oh. And we met up in Amsterdam. And I'm like, from the get-go, I was like, this guy's definitely not for me. But I'm like, how can he not see that? But was he hot? You, not Damn, really. That's dating. He's average, but wow. I'm like... You are really curious then. <laughs> I was like, yo, I did, didn't you like get a feeling from me that this is not going anywhere because of our conversation already changed? The level of response speed changed, like literally from my part as well, because I was like, I didn't like this guy because he was very, very egotistical. And I know he, his personality wasn't nice. And... I just stopped responding most of the times whenever he starts getting a bit of a pain in the ass. So I'm like, do you not notice that? And you still like waited two years for you to have, be free, I suppose, to go on a date with me. And I'm like, that's so weird. How was the date? Yeah, two <laughs> was years. Oh. <laughs> How was yeah, the date? I don't know. Oh my that, god. Like... <laughs> no, the guy just sat there. Like I felt like I was in, in a therapy session with him the entire date. Like, he would you talking. say, would you say he got friend zone like really early? Is that what happened? Like, and he, so you kept him. I wouldn't even call that a friend zone. I just like, for my, my interest died, went out, the, went down the toilet. Yeah, <laughs> Not but... even as a friend. Okay. I would say just like, uh, he's someone I know. So tell me <laughs> if he, okay. You, after five oh, chats, boy. you knew you weren't interested, but you could tell he was right. No, uh, I was not sure. He was very on and off about that. That's what made me very curious. Like, what is the deal of this person? Why is he like this? So then he kept communicating with you, kind of, yeah. you know, back on and, and forth. And yeah. then finally yeah. he asked you out. Yeah. And like, it, was, it was really out of the blue, like random, like, hey, you want to meet up now? And I'm like, what? After two years? And that was literally my, 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 my reply. <laughs> yeah. and even that he didn't catch on he was like yeah yeah you want to meet up and i'm like oh, okay yeah, sure so you th <laughs> in your opinion i guess you still gave off the fact that hey you should he should know that i'm not interested romantically yeah but even in during even during the date he was still not aware of the whole shit i had to like vocalize that shit with him so yeah he's okay he's obviously like into you so once you finally told him, I guess, or like shut him down, was he like, so why did you agree to go out with me type of thing? Like, how did he take the rejection then? He, he also wasn't into me after the date. Oh, he wasn't Sounds into like you. Sounds like two curious yeah. people out curious we're, each other. We're just bored? <laughs> yeah, that's what, two yeah. Two curious, bored people. No, what I found out from him, <laughs> he's a serial um, polyamorous type. Oh. So he was literally fishing for a bunch of females. Right. Just to, and that already, that on its own, it also like turned me off. To broaden his so, pool, maybe. Okay. I, I didn't even know that. I found out th that on the date. And I was like, because he, he made the oh. date into some kind of a therapy session for himself. It I was see. weird. It was super yeah. weird. Yeah. But I've had a lot of experiences like that as well. When I go on a date with guys and it gets like I'm in therapy with them. I do I don't... find that for even first dates, guys start to confess things and I don't know if they're nervous or what's going on, but I've had guys tell me the craziest confessions on a first date. The only thing going on in my mind is like, you can't think this is a good idea. <laughs> like, why would you be telling me all this? So are they confessions about like past things or current things? Anything. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, like, I've had guys who will, like, start to talk about ex-girlfriends, you know, and you try and veer the conversation away because it's like, okay, this isn't relevant or helpful. Right. And then, you know, somehow it just keeps coming back and then it gets to the point where, okay, like, you're you're not over your ex and now you've told me about, like, your sex life and why you broke up and how you want to be back together like it's like <laughs> oh you weren't ready to go on the stage <laughs> and how you want to be back together uh, <laughs> yeah yeah That's real shit yeah yeah i mean <sighs> the, like and usually the dates are pretty fun up until that point and then you're just like oh i, I feel bad bro have you met with any, have you guys met with anyone during pandemic like met up yeah so, i i went on a couple dates that were like uh walks for high park yeah do you like do you qualify them somehow? Like, do they have to be pro-vax or something or pro-mask or, you know, do you kind of get that from their bio? I mean, I, I don't, if someone mentions <laughs> anti-vax in their profile, I don't want to go on a date with them. Right. Um, I just yeah. think like, I just also, I, I've listened, I've been around, I have a couple friends who are super anti-vax. I just don't want to spend time like listening to so much of it because I feel like it's listened to enough of it. Right. Yeah. Um, but all my dates have kind of been social distance dates. That's not a thing here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wait, oh, uh, anti-vaxxers aren't a thing there? No, I mean, it's not in their profiles, nor do they care about it or s talk about it. Um, the Dutch people are very self-centered. <laughs> they don't care about the, vac the, the COVID rules. That's why we still have a problem here. I gotta find oh. this picture for y'all. We're like in code red around here, I think, right now. Like, it's I don't, really bad. I mean, I don't, yeah. I, I used to, th when, when dating apps was first introduced to me, I was like, okay, you gotta ask them out to like drinks or dinner. And then it was like, okay, then it could just be coffee date. And now it's like, I just want to go for a walk. Like, I don't even want to do like a sit in thing. Drinks, maybe, if you a lot really of, hit a it lot off. Of well. my dates have been walks. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed those. At least you can have a conversation. I hate coffee dates. Mine are the mine, love of God. Mine are always a combination. What's we so go bad to a, coffee dates? We go to a coffee date, we go for a walk through a city or a park, and then we end it in a restaurant. Oh, wow. It's three, always been like that. Three stages. That's, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> it is nice. Uh, coffee dates for me personally, it's a personal thing. I just found that... Um, I really need to interact with someone on more than just like a sitting staring at you while drinking bean water level to, to figure out if I'm attracted to you. Right. So I was wondering like what's wrong with me? I've been on so many first dates in the past three years and I'm just not attracted to anyone. And then I finally figured out like I will never be attracted to someone sitting across from a table drinking coffee. Like just I need to do something fun with someone in order to feel connected. Yeah. Those personal things. That's fair. That make it different because you get the f a different side of that person. Hmm. What are you sending? Dead? Did you send it? No. Oh, I, I, I couldn't find it, but it was a picture of like a truck and on the back of the truck and the side of the truck, it said in big white letters, don't get vaccinated. <laughs> then underneath it said like world funeral homes. Oh. <laughs> it was like, so it was like brilliant marketing. No. <laughs> oh jeez. Climate change on your date. Your life in your hands. Yeah. Um, What's the ideal first date for everyone? Hmm. I like to get COVID very, or not COVID, very like, cerebral whatever. very fast. Like if I can tell someone is like really like conversationally intelligent, I love that shit. Like before the date? Like well, like during the date when you're just like talking to someone and you realize oh like this is a really dope conversation like yeah like when it's not like idle at all yeah was, well uh, the was... location does not matter doesn't at, at all. all yeah like, no it doesn't there was, uh, there was this one there was this one girl i was talking to like earlier this year and we we're literally just sitting on her couch like the tv wasn't even on and i realized we had been talking for the last four hours like i had to like pull myself out of the conversation and be like holy shit what time is it you know so like shit like that yeah i love that shit those are rare don't you think those those are very rare, rare at least for me yeah yeah i once i matched with someone on tinder and 
the photos were strategically taken to of i guess to uh, show their best angles and i was like okay I'll give them the Good benefit shots. of the doubt um i don't think we this is probably one of the reasons why too is like i want to be able to talk to someone on the phone first um but we agreed to meet like two days later or not no no i'm lying we had matched like nothing for the longest time like a blank match uh and then i think maybe i was just really not that busy with the with the matching as of late so i went down my inbox and just started messaging <laughs> old matches that i had there just to see if i mm -hmm. could like rekindle something and she was responsive all of a sudden uh, after in the, initially not being responsive and it didn't seem like the chatting was going anywhere i'm like let's try something out of left field that i don't normally do because i i wouldn't want to ask someone out unless we've had some kind of nice exchange by chat first and i'm like hey you want to like meet up and go for a walk sometime and she was quick to say yes and it was shocking to me but i wasn't gonna like you know back out of that and turn it down so like within the same week we decided to meet up at like lakeshore and we went for a walk but i mean i don't know how quickly you guys can like kind of determine that level of uh attraction with someone but as soon as i met her in person you know saw the photos of maybe potential and then we met it was to me i think it was like it was determinative determinative deterministic that i was like i am not attracted to this person physically but i mean i'm gonna go on this walk and we're gonna have this conversation and it ended up being like a very intellectual riveting conversation about politics and immigration and uh canada and international relations and uh for like two hours we walked like 10 kilometers i think or something or maybe holy shit yeah it, it was back and forth on the lakeshore but that was it it's like, yeah, that was it. Pictures don't always capture reality. That's what I know. I just don't know if I would like, would I participate in something like that again? I wouldn't say it was a waste of time, but I don't think it's a favorable scenario. Or had I just did you feel cat? Did you feel catfished? A little. I mean, a little. <laughs> right. Warm wine on a cold day is great. Has been catfished like really bad. Is it really bad? Yeah. Catfished really bad? I think it's really bad. I once went to dinner and my, you know, photos, I looked at her photos. This was my only match date ever. This was like six years ago. And I saw her age. It's roughly around my age. And her photos looked a little dated, maybe a little too filtered, but not a lot of exchange in the chat again, but I was like, hey, do you want to go out for dinner? She said yes. I'm like, oh, all right. And then again, you arrive at the date, you meet finally face to face. And it was like, I oh. didn't have that. Well, I, <laughs> she definitely looked a little older than her photos. But uh, at the same time, too, I was just, you know, it was again, did, I determined that I am not attracted to this person, but I'm going to try to have the conversation. And she like, I tried to ask questions and one word answers. And it was like, okay, well, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to be the only one carrying this conversation. And then it was the worst, probably the worst date. We just ate, we ate in silence. And then and when the bill so was offered and, and they're like, is it together or split? And I'm like, split, please. <laughs> Jesus. I think if I'm ever in a date and someone makes it so awkward, I have, I will excuse myself from that date. I will not stay. You just leave? <laughs> Yeah. After I eating, I will have right. someone call me for, for an emergency or some shit and then get me out of this shit. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to. Because it's such a waste of everyone's yeah. time, right? Like that person's already meeting up with you on a lie. <laughs> and yeah. then they're not talking to you. They can't even entertain you. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing. Classy don't, guy over I here was, drinking a martini. Uh, I, was, I don't want to oh, be man, bored. I want, I want some alcohol. <laughs> Should we have some alcohol? Oh, okay. ginger ale? This is ginger ale. It could be fun. <laughs> this could have been a way um, different podcast if you had some alcohol. <laughs> I would just be like, yeah, I think it's obvious this is this is not what either of us expected. So it's, uh, it's been nice meeting you today. I'm going to just... I should have just left you mean like right away. Like, 
Uh, we ordered already. I mean, like, after you guys, like... <laughs> it's okay to bail like that. Like, it is okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. All right. Nice. I tried to be if a you gentleman, can, like, you know? <laughs> you can, like, bring it forth in a polite manner without offending them. It's okay to just bail. Cancel the order. Yeah. yeah. I think even if it offends them. You know, like, at that point, if you've met up and yeah, the photo... I'm trying to be nice. Like, yeah. Gotta sell. I mean, try and be nice, but be honest to yourself, you know? Yeah. I don't want to be an asshole all the time to people, though. <laughs> like, people Please can still be nice even if fail. you're not attracted. I've gotten friend-zoned on, friend on first dates many times, too, but it's still a good time, you know? You still make a friend. I'm still friends with those people, too. I've been friend-zoned in some super nice ways. Like, I've had some guys send really long, nice texts, be like, Hey, I'm really not attracted to you, but I think you're super cool. Can we be friends? And I'm still friends with all those guys. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Yeah. I've See, and I appreciate that over getting ghosted. <laughs> I've actually I never might... been friend zoned. I'm never been friend zoned. About... No. I might even still pay out? for the date. Damn. Damn. Simp. Like, yeah. <laughs> peace. Peace. No, because I don't go on dates often either. It's That's... like once in a blue moon or some Beauty. shit. Be right back. I'm, I'm, I'm way too picky. So, and the guy, type of guys that hit me up most of the times are not the type of guys I even like, yeah. so it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, I think, and I think that's important, though, because you don't want to waste people's time. Exactly. You don't waste your own time, yeah. I don't like having to get up and putting all the effort and getting pretty up for a person that I'm not going to be attracted to or it's not going to go anywhere. A good call. It's a lot of effort. <laughs> yeah. What are some of the best dates you've been on? Me personally? Hmm? Uh, God dang. That's a good question because all of them kind of sucked. Damn. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? You guys ready for my best first date? Hmm? It's so clear in my mind. I, I guess I shouldn't say his name. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but there was a guy who... Um, we had kind of met on Facebook previously because I take rugby photos and he was a rugby player. So he added me and we chatted a little bit, but at the time I lived in South Korea, when I moved back to Kent to Toronto, um, he said, you know, now that you're in Toronto, like, let's go, let's go on a first date. Like, let's do something super fun. And my cousin at the time flew planes out of um, the Island airport. So my cousin one day was like, hey, on the same day that we were supposed to meet up was like, hey, do you want to go for a flight? I was like, sure. So I told the guy like, okay, meet me down at the island. And we like went up in this little plane and we went around Toronto. And then afterwards, um, we went to the green room and we just had like awesome conversation all night. Just like the conversation that doesn't stop. And it was super nice. And that was it. How well did that go That's after? Great. We're still really good friends. Okay. Um, it, it went really well, and it just it didn't end for any bad reason. It was just like we wanted different things. Yeah. But we're still really close. So, what was like your best date that you can remember? Oh, me? Hmm? Are you asking me that? Mm. My best? Yeah. From an app? Like, uh, yeah. A best first date? Like most interesting, if I can't think of a best. Well, I mean, I'd have I, I immediately my mind went to the one that ended in a relationship because I mean, that one actually worked, I guess. Like, chemistry was there, like the like the te like uh, flirting was there, but intelligence was there. The uh, you know physical attraction was there. Uh, it kind of ramped up real quick, and uh, I, yeah, I guess I, I went over to we're gonna go maybe for a, a walk in the evening, and then that's all I'm gonna share. <laughs> <laughs> he ramped up quickly. <laughs> Yours? Best date? Um, 
guess mine also was one that ended up in a relationship. Yeah, what did we do? We went to Toronto Island, and nice. it was like it was that nude beach. Hamlets, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was the, it was the nude beach, and like uh, we had like a picnic on the beach and stuff like that. And she was like topless, and I was so <laughs> bewildered because like I'd never been on a nude beach before. I was just like, wow, this is really interesting. And looking at other women too, you're like, <laughs> it was like all women, men, you know. So yeah, I remember just us being like on the water. I just remember like the sunset. It was like the most ridiculous sunset I'd ever seen in my life. And like, I just remember seeing like a fucking bird fly across the sky and shit. I'm like, yo, this is like a movie setting. Real, this is like a really beautiful, like, is this real life right now? And, Love will do like, that to you. you know, she, she was like this girl that um, I'd followed. Um, you guys remember Tumblr? You guys ever used Tumblr? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm we actually randomly met off tumblr like we just followed each other's blogs and then yeah, you know, she lived in <laughs> so yeah it was like this cool person whose cool page that i liked and she like liked my page and stuff too and we just had like this connection and then because I, I was visiting from out of town so i actually had like hotel so like after that you know we like drove back to the hotel and bada bing bada boom <laughs> <laughs> so was Center was, Island your idea or, or hers? Hers, because like I'm, I'm, I think I'm like learning that I'm not great at planning things like date wise. Like that's that's like something I have to like develop. Like I, I'm an artist, so I I'm just like out all the time doing random creative stuff socially. But as far as like planning romantic dates, I'm just learning like actually have some development to do in that area like i'll do like the basic stuff like dinner blah 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 blah, blah but just like in terms of getting more creative um so yeah it was it was her idea can i ask so though, she was like, always the, the date planner did you already establish like heavy interest in each other before yeah. that date yeah at this okay. point i had like actually like written and <laughs> it's funny because like i actually wrote a song about her and that's oh. like i sent it to her Damn. That's how we went on our first date. That's yeah. way better than a mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> I need to applaud this. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's how we went on our first date. And then that was our second date that that happened. Oh, is pretty... the song on YouTube? Can we <laughs> listen to it? Uh, that's on, on SoundCloud. Hey. Yo, let's do <laughs> it. The link, yeah. this is you the guys one. make me jealous, yo. You guys make me very jealous. <laughs> Post the link. All my dates have been super basic. Well, that's uh, the thing. I think you need to establish that interest first for a date to be amazing. If it if, if you're like testing the waters, how can you really plan something super romantic with someone you're just testing the waters with? Do you know what I say? Find something really fun that you want to do. You want to go to a nude beach? Like, yes, oh, make oh that a God. date and bring <laughs> someone along. But the find thing something the guy I went on a date with that was super weird that we weren't even in each other. He tried to take me to a spa, and here in the Netherlands, spas are completely naked. I am oh, not naked, into. Yeah. Right. I am, I'm not in. I'm not right. into those things. Yeah, no. Maybe don't expect the person to get naked on the first date. <laughs> yeah. They do. My brother has <laughs> done that though. My brother has done that on a first date. He's super wild. <laughs> well, like, I no, mean, some amazing. dates go well, right? I mean, we know that that some dates mm -hmm. go well, and that happens, but it's not planned my comfort zone needs to be you know respected <laughs> so you're saying something that i want to do and i want to enjoy take the risk of inviting someone i don't know and share that moment with them and hopefully it goes well is that what you're saying <laughs> yeah like i've been on so many boring or bad dates that i changed it to i'm just gonna start finding stuff i want to do and invite people along so even if it's a bad date i'm still like checking something off my list that i want to do like okay. i brought people as second shooters to rugby games and just been like here's a camera like this is what we're doing during the date or like my cousin flew us oh, around shit. in a plane like yeah i've just started I'm doing stuff that it's I like hey do. would you like to you assist me at a wedding <laughs> But that's the thing, y'all 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 got options over there. Y'all got super fun options over there, but over it's so boring. The Netherlands is just boring. Mm -hmm. I, how can the Netherlands like, be boring? Like tulips with me. That place looks amazing. 
Dude, no. My brother uh, left because it was boring. A lot of people, when, know, I, when I move here, if I tell a Dutch person where I'm from, they will be super shocked and ask me why the hell I ever moved to, to the Netherlands. Really? <laughs> Even they here find it boring as hell. It was pretty Maybe when I Maybe clogs? Went. You could get custom clogs made. Um, what else do they do in the Netherlands? Yeah, you gotta be interested in that. Uh, movie. drugs, I guess. <laughs> no, <Dude>, seriously. <laughs> no. Just... Mushrooms? Like, let's take a trip. No, no, thank you. There's... No. Bikes, you could rent bikes and go. Oh visit yeah, all those beautiful bike paths. You don't yeah, need. And to there's rent like bikes. rivers and Everybody things. Everybody here could, has bikes. You could like row boats, I guess. Row, row a boat. Boats. Maybe yeah. fishing. Maybe whale watching or something. And let's go to Poland. I feel like po like you could go to another country in like an hour. Be like, let's have our date in another country. No one here is gonna put that effort. True. <laughs> right. They just want to go for walks. <laughs> they want like they, the, the, the people here want to keep it as cheap and casual as plush possible and it's super mm. boring You're and they make it hard. and it's always like that um interview style dating it's what? always like that here was her name donna uh it was kappa her name was kappa oh. man i gotta write cool songs names. all right yeah, that's, a name. <laughs> that's a name you write a song about that's cool. I'll listen to that. We'll link that in in the description below too, guys. So make sure you. Oh, oh and I actually LA. have a date for if I get to LA. You have a date already lined up. That's yeah. why you want to go. You matched already. No, that's not was that was that was not the intention of me oh. going to LA. My plan was already to visit my brother. Right. And thinking, thinking, I was like, "Hey, I'm going to LA. Why not start searching for?" So you moved, maybe yeah. Yeah. You change your location to to LA. <laughs> mm, I met way more interesting people there than here, for sure. Oh yeah, grass interesting is always on greener. paper. Yeah. Yeah, interesting on paper. I'm I'm interested to hear about. We also video cool called. Person. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the ones I was really interested in, we also video called in all those stuff, and they were really nice and interesting, and they had way more better social lives and stuff like that. Wait, yeah. you video really called people? But um, but the problem the problem's always I'm here and they're there, and since I've moved to the Netherlands, all my relationships were also long distance, hmm. so it, it 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 becomes a struggle. I. Uh, Jay, are you a long distance person? Me? I don't mind it. If you trust yeah. a person and you're in love, for me, it, it's not much of a problem. I travel. But what most of the time, it's more the guy that can't handle it. That's not true. <laughs> I'm not, talking about my experience. Not in I'm my talking experience. About my experience. <laughs> I'm talking about my experience with the people I've been with. They couldn't handle it. Why are you FJ? So what does that mean to be one? open to it or like cert yearning for it i don't want to yearn for a long distance relationship no i just mean like are you are you someone that can that you're okay with a long distance relationship not that you want one but like okay, okay with, with nah i think i know my tolerance is pretty high in terms of being able to tolerate a long distance but it's not something i would want for a prolonged amount of time like the the objective is to end the the distance uh obviously uh yeah, like yeah but I've known people like, you know, love languages, the five love languages. You guys know about mm -hmm. those? Yeah. So uh, if touch and quality. No, 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 no. Touch. Ah, oh, sophisticated. Uh, crowd, <laughs> I, like uh, I just find like if touch is really high on that list for either of those people, it's not going to work, you know, because you don't have that quality time. You can still spend online, so that's fine. Uh, words of affirmation if you're both really strong at talking with and sharing like your affection for each other and you, you have the trust communication with each other I think you'd, you'd last very strongly too but Maybe yeah it's all about patience, patience, touch patience. but I touch is pretty high on my list for me and I that's why I can't tolerate it forever but I am willing to words words are pretty big for me so too so that's why I could be carried through <laughs> that's your limit forever I not, think for not me, forever all of them <laughs> All of them for me are important. All of them? Gifts, really? Yeah. Screw gifts. All. <laughs> I'm not a gifts person. Mm, yeah. I don't know uh, if I've ever gotten a gift I liked from a boyfriend. 
But like gifts mm. is so low on my list because nobody's ever given me anything cool. <laughs> Like a, no, mirror, like a mirrorless camera. I'm sorry for laughing at you. I never. That was terrible. I have I never asked for a gift. I've never gotten um, asked for a gift. I just got them and I get really overjoyed because they thought of me and wanting to give me something and it's out of the blue. That's if nice. it's something I have to ask for, then I'm going to be like, nah. And I don't really ask for anything either to begin with. So okay. it's like, no. I've I've said it many times to so guys I date. I don't see you as a wallet, so I'm not going to beg you for shit. I'm not going to ask yeah. you for anything. Well, but yeah. if you're dating, eventually gifts will come up. You know, There's eventually, yes, yeah. yeah. But even then, I don't ask for anything because I've about, been raised like that. But, you don't ask for but, shit. Paige, are you saying your gifts were all like material gifts, not even experience gifts, like outings and stuff, and? Um, you, okay, so outings and things, I enjoyed that, right? Because you yeah. can't really go wrong with that. Um, yeah, but yeah, material time. stuff has always been like so far off anything that I'd ever want that it almost makes me be like, why are we together? You have no idea who I am. Why would you give me this? Right. Yeah. Interesting. Like, example, a golf uh, club? Example. <laughs> uh, no golf clubs. Nice. Um... Okay. Okay. Like this is the worst one. So dating a guy at the time we had been dating over a year and he asks me on Christmas Eve to stay over at his parents' house and then Christmas Day we're going to wake up and we're all going to open presents together. Cool. He himself tells me and this could just be like he's such a dick but anyway. So he himself mm -hmm. tells me that let's have it be a $400 limit. And at Holy the time I was smokes. like that's a lot. And damn. At the time Holy I was like Yeah, like that's big. So he had an you know, idea already what he wanted to he, buy. He he he, wa right? he wanted something <laughs> right? specific too, yeah. So yeah, so and but he didn't ask for anything specific. So I got him like concert tickets to a concert he really liked and a bunch of little oh, things. I had a PS5. See? Experiences. Now, <laughs> you, you made personal. Now, what? Yeah, I made it super personal. But he got me and remember, he wasn't giving me this gift until Christmas Day yes. in front, front of, his, of his parents. He and now like he got me a pack of white socks from Costco and a Justin Bieber Christmas album. That's it. And you have to think Damn. it was on fucking Christmas Day. I could listen to this album for one day <laughs> and then I had to put it away. And I'm not a super big Justin Bieber fan. I'm sorry I'm laughing at this. Uh, it was so brutal. Uh, and I was like in front of a whole family and it was so weird. Crazy. It must have been a gag, like, right? That felt purposely done. Oh my god. It what? Must, no, it must have been a gag gift. Like he had something else, right? Like Oh. Or maybe he was testing your reaction to how Oh it my was bad. god. The reaction was bad. Four hundred? Four hundred dollars. I spent four hundred, like almost to the He was expecting you to buy a lot of shit for him and not give anything in Like like he spent like he spent like twenty four dollars. <laughs> like... Yeah most it was so weird he said and it 400 so because he knew you were going to go all out for him yeah so yeah okay yeah explain explain so you open the the, the parents are like socks weren't even wrapped these okay. things weren't even wrapped <laughs> it was so bad and it's not and you think like you think oh that's really extreme but it's not that extreme because i have a similar story with a different dude that was just as bad lingerie right <laughs> wasn't it like someone I feel, oh. I feel like you said. So basically, I'm you afraid just... to say what no. I got as okay. presents now. Oh my god. Okay, no, but okay. So you open the gift, you well, look think it. it's terrible, it. and you could okay, you could tell when your face. Yeah. Could you tell oh, with yeah, your face? A, yeah. yeah, I have a hard time suppressing my emotion. So I just, you know, I must have been like, and then he just said like. Hey, super sorry. I didn't get a chance to buy you anything, so let's go do go out later. And then they moved on, and everyone else was opening stuff, and I just sat there like, this fucker <laughs> thinks that but he, this is fine. He had he had already gotten his gift, like yeah. you. You, uh, uh, you got him. Like, did he open that gift right? on Christmas Day too, in front of the fam? No. Okay. And like that stuff, like was a bunch of little stuff wrapped up, and it was like in a thing, so like. Yeah, it was just, he was like one of the worst ones. Wow. How much longer did you guys stay together after that? <laughs> Not long. Not very long. 
a long time. Then, uh, <laughs> You're broken. No, page. no, not very long. Oh. oh. <laughs> You're rap eating. I, I feel food. offended for you right now. <laughs> yeah, it was so bad. It was like almost shocking. Like you're you're not even like initially so angry because you're so confused, right? Yeah. You're just quiet. I, I think I would have blown up. Got shot. His whole family was there. Like, <laughs> I, was don't, like, I don't care. Did he wrap? Did he wrap, <laughs> did he wrap, <laughs> did he wrap the CD know. though? Did he wrap the CD? Or was it just <laughs> under the tree waiting for you? Price tag still on it. No, it was in the CD player. He got yeah, it as a gift. He regifted. Yeah. Oh, That's terrible. <laughs> he regifted yeah, it. Her. Wow. Anyway, so it was so blatant to me. That experience was like, oh, you don't actually want to be dating me? Like, this is yeah. kind of like, you I'd take don't it that way. care? Yeah. He yeah. doesn't value way. you. Yeah. He yeah. doesn't value you. It crumbled you. from that point on. You took back the tickets. Yeah? No. So, like, we went, but he was also just like an asshat that whole night. And I was like... Like, you know, I spent oh so much money God. on these tickets. You're gonna be rude. Like to me subtle, now. subtle indication to end the relationship. You still went, yeah. man. Your tolerance too is crazy. No. <laughs> Yeesh. I okay. think. Right, what if... do you guys get his presents? <laughs> you really want to know? Holy shit! I got a really dope present once. It was like, um, <laughs> I think I tweeted. I think my exact tweet was. Uh, get me a Nefertiti bust, and I'll love you forever. This is like back in like bust. this is like back in like 2015. Everyone knows who Nefertiti is, right? Like yeah. the Egyptian yeah. queen. Yeah. So like, I always wanted like a small like bust of her, just like her head, right? I don't know where this girl found this shit, but she just like got it for me, and that shit cool. looks so sick. And so one I day, <laughs> one day, I was in this like high rise condo. And it was by the window. Oh. And the window was open. Oh. And like, went into the room. And I just remember just seeing just the base. I was like, what the fuck? Oh. I went and picked it up. And the whole like top had like, I guess like, fallen off the window edge and like cracked and like fell off. Oh. I was so hurt. Oh. I looked online for like something similar for so long. I could never find it. Mm. You know? And that so, was the end of your relationship. <laughs> All right. I was like, well, I was like on the 39th floor or something. Could have killed someone. Oh, dude. Well, it, it landed on like eating. the. <laughs> it landed on like the roof of like another building. So. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Sucks. Yeah, man. That was like one of the dopest gifts I've got. You don't have like like a net, like a like a screen on your window, 39 floors uh, up. Everything was open. Everything was open. Oh damn. Yeah. It was a small window though. It was like it wasn't, it wasn't a big window. Sheesh. Yeah, like, because I'm not really a gifts person, so, like, yeah. get me a gift like that. It's like, you put a lot of thought into that shit. Not really. She just read your tweet. Just kidding. <laughs> just yeah, but, like, <laughs> to actually, like, go out of your way to, like, because those, I, I feel like those things aren't easy to come by. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's like a really obscure thing that I wanted, and you got it. It was like, oh, shit. When you put that tweet out, you had no expectation of anyone getting it for you right like nope it was sort of like a, nope. yeah okay it's just something that i've just always wanted i just like randomly put it out like you know hey, yo. she like god i was like oh shit yeah if there's no thought into the gift it's it's useless for me. Yeah, yeah pointless yeah mm -hmm. i i like the I experience gifts <laughs> yeah i don't well possessions at all like it's like I like I've, things you can share together, like a vacation or something, like an outing of some sort. It's, yeah, I cool. like make, making memories is definitely the best. Most of the gifts I got were all like really out of out of the blue and surprised. Like I I don't expect it at all because, like I said, I don't ask for anything. Mm. So I've gotten some things, and I'm like, holy shit! <laughs> I I feel guilty. And I don't know how to match up this level of gift giving at times. So is this so like from a, a partner? Yeah. And so did what's you... the best and the worst gift? Yeah. And do I you establish never... budgets at all ever or no? No, because okay. I don't talk about what I want at all to them. Right. Or they, 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 they figure out subtle things about me and they buy stuff they think I like. 
And most of the times it's accurate, and yeah. sometimes it's like things I need. I I like that more. If you can give me something I can actually use and I need it, mm-hmm. other than something that's just to throw, you know, to play with. And the last present I got made me cry. <laughs> like I was like, holy shit! And this I got him after we broke up, okay. like monster after we broke up. My ex got me a smart, big widescreen TV. Okay. And I'm like, I s- and he didn't tell me anything about it. I just got it in the mail, and I was super confused. Like, I don't know why. Why do I have this? Who bought me this shit? And then afterwards, I got a text randomly out of the blue from him, like, "Yeah, did you get my birthday present?" And I'm like, "What the fuck?" So did he not know that you were breaking up? I guess when he ordered it. <laughs> he already <laughs> broke up. Like. A while you were broken up. So was he, he trying to it. get you back? <laughs> no. That's what we were thinking as well. Everybody thought the same thing. He was trying to get me back, but no, not at all. Mm. So I, I'm still, I was left confused, but happy. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, you, you got rid of, but, you got rid of him and you got a new TV. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't get trade. rid of him. <laughs> we still talk now and then. We're still friends. Oh, you got friend zone, yeah. huh? Oh. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the worst gift, I can't really say I've gotten anything that's labeled worst for me. All of them was very nice and I appreciate Never everything. Never got a bad I, gift? N- the only people who gave me bad gifts my, are my brothers. They do it on purpose. But from a, from a partner, them, a no. bad gift from, from a partner, a... I've never gotten a bad gift from a partner. And even if it was something really cheap, I still value the shit out of it because it came from him. Yeah, I don't think I ever got a bad gift. Cheap's not the problem here. Bad gift, it's like a talent. It's like cheap and lack of respect and not caring. Like, no, yours for sure wins. Like, That's ev- basically everybody's. my brother then. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> my brothers do that but as a, a partner never no I'm, like, I'm surprised like none of you because uh, this question came up once on a date and the guy told me he was dating this girl for a year and he like got her this like promise ring and he was so excited to give it to her and I guess she got him for Chris that was for Christmas and she got him a bag of jelly beans and I was like yeah, oh this guy understands what <laughs> okay <Yeah. laughs> but like <laughs> What? How do you have that disconnect though? Like, with you, straight up, like he was being not like being a jerk. Like that was kind of like planned and like calculated. And it, he was he was horrible. Like that's that's evil. What he, I would say what he did was evil. Um, the yeah, the jelly beans be and the promise ring. Like, did you get context? Like how how do you have that I, disconnect? I think it was a very. I think it was very similar where. Like, he was taking the relationship really seriously, and then she, you know, like, put off. Like, she obviously didn't really care, yeah. and she was putting it off. And then maybe on the way to meet him, was like, shit, I didn't get this guy a gift, and went to, like, a corner store or something. Like, yeah. something like that, where you just, you literally don't care. And now, then that's a big wake-up call, where you're like, oh. <laughs> okay, hearing his story, too, did you find, like, you related there that maybe, maybe there were, like indicators that you didn't see leading up to that christmas i mean, no but he invited you with his family oh, and that's the thing like it, it, there for me i that's... really uh, yeah i don't know what was going on there like he invited me to his parents that's big like i yeah, think i that's... think he was just kind of a shit person okay 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 <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> for her and him in that scenario i don't necessarily think it was her fault there if there were no you know there were no budgets kind of set or there was no expectations right like no i think there were some expectations like i remember really sympathizing and been like i've been there (laughs) like a year it's a good indication a year is long though like do they not celebrate like one month or or like six months i was like weren't birthdays passed (laughs) yeah like you know valentine's it's a good wake-up call you know yeah. It's a good wake up call to be like, maybe I'm bringing more to the table than you want to bring, and it's a good time to just end this. Yeah. I think a year, though, I mean, that's far. I feel like that yeah. should have been discovered 
you know, maybe two months. Maybe? Or maybe I'm just used to things ramping up really it, quickly. Right? Like, uh, if you're not getting each other gifts. And I think he was saying, like, her birthday or his birthday was really early on. So they agreed on getting no gifts. And by oh. the time the second birthday came, they just went out for dinner. Okay. And then even if you discuss a budget, it doesn't mean one's going to follow it. So. It, I mean, that's, I think that's what discussing a budget means. Yeah. <laughs> think, yeah. When, when you even mention it, that is actually expected. Like, that is yeah. a fair expectation to have when you set a budget that it's, uh, <laughs> it's not necessarily a minimum. It, it is a general maximum, but you kind of want to come Maybe close. Was only <laughs> taking it as a maximum. <laughs> all right, max 400. All right, max. <laughs> I'm only gonna spend yeah. 24, but max 400. <laughs> that's, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy too. That is nuts to me. Is that the one you have, Dutch? That's the one you had. It's the one that, that's the one that she got me. Oh, that's dope. Nice. I no longer have. Pretty nice. That's sick. Yeah, thank you. I pictured like an entire like onyx or like marble one or something. That'd be dope. like a dark. I was like, it's just like so miniature and like cool. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. That is super cool. Oh, let me show chat. Let me show chat, guys. You got uh, open original. This is what he got. Very dope. All right. Yeah, I mean, I. I think when you've established uh, that long, of like commitment with someone, even if it's like one of the first gift exchanges. There's like this level of, uh, even if it's not very lavish in price, where you appreciate the thought behind it. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily, I can't, I can't fathom a year going by of like, let's say deep connection and communication and something like that would have just been, you know, disregarded like, oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't get you, I didn't get I wasn't able to get you something. I'll I'll get it later. And was there like effort to like really re make up for it? Um, I think because I had spent so much money and it was like money I did not have at the time. Yeah. Like I was already tight on money. Yeah. Um, I was like, yeah, we're going out for dinner, like the next few nights. So I at least feel like yeah. didn't just drop all this money. I'm gonna just eat all the food. <laughs> Um, <laughs> like there was no Aww. recovering, like there was no apologies or anything after that. So it was like, we went out for dinner a couple times. We went and saw that show and then it was kind of over. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad he's out of your life. Good decision. Yeah. That's like one of the exes I absolutely do not talk to anymore. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Uh, mm. Found, because I'm kind of sad. Like I kind of thought other people would have like. I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, I, I I relate with like what Nini said. It's not from a significant other, but like you know, from family. <laughs> like I've had yeah. some shitty family gifts. One day you guys are gonna get a shit gift, and you'll be like, "Oh, Paige." Dude, I <laughs> I'll got text a birthday you. present. I'll be like, "Yo, I got a... I, I got one one up. I one up you finally, but probably not. I can't. I can't." One of the birthday presents I got from my brother was a talisman to ward off evil spirits. I mean, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Does he think you're a witch? <laughs> like, no, they all, they all seem to cool. think I'm. A, they all seem to think I'm like a little demon. So you need to exercise yourself. Uh, I don't know what he meant cool. by it, this freaking ass. At least there was thought behind it. <laughs> yeah, he wanted you to be protected. Not just, not just the Costco from myself. You know? <laughs> I'm just gonna be from myself. <laughs> no. He, he likes to buy me prank gifts. Last, I, for Christmas, he also got me this um, cookbook, this Pokemon Bento cookbook. That I did like. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. It, was, it was super childish, but I was like, this is the cutest shit ever, so and I'm going to forgive. There was thought behind that, though, be based on, like, your interests and, like, your style, right? Like, so This is the first time he did something like this. I, I actually liked it, but he actually did buy it as a joke because he was laughing at me when he gave me it. <laughs> My brother's weird. <laughs> Yo, you but actually I liked it. Okay. No, no, go ahead. 
I was gonna say, you guys seen those videos of like parents pranking their kids with like they give them like a present box and it's like a PS4 and then they open the box and it's like a frying pan or some shit. <laughs> yeah. And those kids that have shit is hilarious. Those kids have like real tantrums. That's when you know those kids are spoiled. Yeah. Yeah. I just like that one kid. Oh, it's an avocado. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they get super happy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because Jimmy Kimmel, doesn't he get tell them to like give prank gifts and then the real ones Halloween, are hidden? The, take away the Halloween candy. They do that one too. Yeah. Parents are way too lazy to do things like that. <laughs> a reed for a trumpet? Is that from your girlfriend? You played drums? <laughs> I forgot. Sorry, Day Day just said in chat that in high school he received a reed for a trumpet. By the way, a trumpet is a, a mouthpiece. Maybe you mean like a, a saxophone. A reed is like a wood. But he plays the drums. <laughs> hey, what's a reed? Like the wooden thing you put underneath wood, a wood. saxophone uh, or a clarinet to be able to play uh, it. Girl oh, wow. Girlfriend. Oh, wow. And he played the Very drum. Technical. Oh, wow. Uh, someone else, uh, Mike's, Mike in chat said uh, a girl got from her boyfriend a $20 bill in an empty card. Ouch. I mean, yeah. I'd appreciate that. It's money. Get out of here. It is money. Is there anything in the card? He just gave her the bill. He gave her the card. gift of choice, guys. Like, the, like what's, what's... Buy yourself <laughs> something nice. Buy yourself something card? nice. The card was empty. Depends yes. what they, she got it for. Just give me the bill. Like, just the bill, right? Why the card? Just give me the cash he spent on the card too. Twenty one dollars. Low key, I'd take the twenty dollars <laughs> over Justin Bieber album. Yes. Just give me twenty one dollars. Like, yes. Cool. Like, oh, that's so weird. Yeah, Day Day says he'd take twenty dollars over a Justin Bieber album. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, that's true. If it was like, if you just given me the money for the album and the socks, it would have been better. Well, I always so if I don't know what to get someone, I just throw money at it. Give the money. Um, Nobody's gonna be angry with money. Christmas album. The Christmas album. The gift of music. Christmas album on Christmas the, Day. The gift like, of that's music. Brutal. Technically, you can play that until the thirty-first, though. <laughs> Why? Why is there oh, man, restrictions terrible. with you guys? I'll play that thing all year round. <laughs> <clears throat> it's the Beebs. Uh. What's your guys' objective when it comes to like arguments? Is your objective to like win the argument or is it to come to an understanding? My objective is to not to even start an argument. Yeah. <laughs> don't even start an argument. I'm I don't I don't like arguing. So you avoid you avoid <laughs> arguments? Yeah. Do you guys are you non like, let's, let's it, it does not, not become an it does not become an argument. At all. If let's you know say, how to talk like, through things, it does not become an argument. Are you arguing that right now? Because it sounds like it. <laughs> no, not, not, at, not at all. <laughs> if you take it that way, but I don't see it that way. But yeah, okay. Uh, Have okay. you guys heard like sometimes there's when you're arguing, sometimes people argue against each other, but you can also look at instead you can change your perspective and you can look at the problem like you both are working towards i don't know i don't a, know if a I'm common saying solution right. yeah i prefer that style instead of arguing at someyone i prefer to like talk through the problem and like come to an understanding it never works exactly. out that way but it does yeah. with me it's a choice that both individuals have to make though like one person right. can't yeah. carry that on their own it becomes an argument when emotions get involved and he's already angry, like super angry with you about something you did probably or you did it by accident or some shit. Oh, like where they bring up past events? Well, then that's that's baggage they get and petty. stuff. They get petty and stuff. Yeah. Then it becomes an argument, I guess, but that's outside, what I, of, outside of that. Mm. That's what I feel non-confrontation builds up to. Like if, if, you, are, if you are the type to avoid conflict... Yeah. regularly it's it's usually just sl swept under the rug until it's too big and then it explodes and oh no into mm. one i'm more of a type i avoid drama and i also make it clear from the get-go don't argue with me about things you need to be able to speak to me to, in a respectful and you know normal way so we can solve problems because if you argue with me i'm not going to respond to you 
Mm. Arguing, okay, so yeah, how are we defining arguing here? So is a disagreement an argue is an argument? If you just it's disagree just, about something? You keep fighting about something without solving a problem and then you start getting salty with each other and ja take jabs at each other and stuff like that. It becomes way personal and a bit disrespectful. How often do you guys ever agree to disagree in a relationship? Agree to disagree? Uh, I don't think I've ever really... No, never. Had that. I don't, I don't <laughs> I've only had that with my older brother. <laughs> I've had it like a couple times, like, cause, um, one of my uh, one of the people I dated was very, um, I don't know, she was very opinionated. She had a very strong opinion. She was like, I don't know, I guess that's an Aries thing, but we would, we would always like come to stalemates. You know and just like agree to disagree like we would come into like an understanding sometimes but a lot of other times we would just like come to stalemates because we would both just be like feel so strongly about our opinions but we just we would just want the argument to end is you know? the what? is the issue relationship based or outside it could, it could be outside stuff like fucking something about a tv show or something you know and then oh, it would okay. just get like okay like you actually feel like this like yeah like, i'm offended <laughs> You, know? like, you think The Simpsons is better says, than Family Guy? I'm offended. <laughs> what they do here on the chat says is accurate to argue in. When someone, you can see they're wrong, but they don't want to, like, you know, lose the argument and they keep on going. Yeah, that's someone I wouldn't stay very long with. <laughs> I feel I wouldn't, uh, I couldn't tolerate that for very much. Yeah. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's not, for you to be able to even ask that question, Dej, I think, your insight on that is, or your like your experience in that scenario, because I knowing where my fights have gone in the past and how, yeah, I'm unstable. I've been uh, I I have gotten in the past because of my emotional, uh, what's the word? I was unable to control my emotions in the past, like, okay, and after therapy, I haven't really been able to have the chance to test it yet, so. I am a little apprehensive about like what that fight's gonna be like when I eventually have that first real fight with someone in a relationship. Um, but I'm hoping I'm prepared this time. <laughs> yeah, I am yeah, definitely. I have to think... Sorry, last if thing I, have... I want to say is I I don't think I'm non-confrontational. I'm I when when if there's an issue, I do want to address it right away. It's not something I want to revisit. Like it's like we should hash this out now. And for the people yeah, who are like, oh, I need to. I need time to cool off. I need to collect my thoughts and head it. I don't favor those scenarios because then it's like, I want to tackle it now. I don't want to hang on to this and carry it for any longer type of thing. Yeah, I, I, I'm i the same way. Like, I do like to like address things like right away and it can get frustrating with someone is like, I need time to gather my thoughts. I like, I don't want to, I need to process all of this, but I rationalize with that too, because like some people just operate that way. Yeah. I've, I've ran into instances where I've I don't even know how I'm feeling in the moment. And I'm just like, yo, what the fuck just happened? Like, what the hell? You know, and you kind of yeah. need some time to just be like, I just got oh, some socks and a up. Justin Bieber CD. What? It takes it <laughs> takes me a while for things to set in. I find like I don't get angry at things that I should in the moment. It's almost like like hours and hours later, I'm like, wait a minute. That sucked. <laughs> but if you guys are like the one in the wrong, uh, do you admit to it? Yeah. Yeah. I. Yeah. Yeah. I'll apologize. Yeah, I have no problem being yeah. wrong. Same. Yeah. Which wrong is important. It it bothers me when you know someone knows they're wrong. Maybe they Can might they... not admit that they're wrong, but they just they refuse to take part in an apology. That yeah, that me. sucks. Yeah, just... yeah, it bothers me on a relationship level, but even friendship level, I can't, yeah. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, I think that that ruins any kind of relationship if someone's like that. Yeah. Fam too. They, they, they <laughs> won't want to take accountability then at all. Yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it's, it that's taught in at, I think that's taught in ho at home, from like how forgiveness was taught to you as a child or like. And yeah, it's unfortunate not everyone has the same kind of weight and valuation. I like that, I like that view that you should just pity those people. 
Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Your home life must have been sad. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, you, you, well, I think you get peace out of yeah. that, the fact that you don't have to deal deal with them further than that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm. yeah oh. some, some arguments are, like, healthy, though. Like, it brings you all closer. And that's a debate, then. <laughs> the only so, person, right. the only boyfriend I never argued with was that guy I dated for a year and sent fake nudes to. And I was never, I was never <laughs> fully in it. So I think, yes. I think I need to. Yes. Uh, arguing to me is like, maybe it's like a bit of passion. Both people are passionate about each other. There's trust in, in it my... too, though. There's like being able to have the security that having this fight won't put the relationship in jeopardy. <clears throat> I think that's, people avoid fights early in relationships like that because they don't feel that like foundation yet. I think, I think. Um, I think I'm very chill when it comes to think arguments and stuff. And if I see that the person is wrong, I always find proof to show them they're wrong and show them in a respectful way so they can understand, hey, you're fucking up. Yeah. You know? And it but it, it ends there. We both like realize, okay, this is what the problem. You were right, I was right, but I'm not gonna like bash it in, in your face that I was right. And we just move on from there. But then you've got, I've had situation from people, even though I showed them that they were wrong, they still don't want, they want to fight. It's like, they want to fight with you. And yeah. in my case, when, when that happens, that's Some a sign for like me that you need to go, you need to go date someone else. Yeah. I ended, I, I will end a relationship immediately when I notice that in someone, because I'm not here should. to fight with you. Those people match well with similar people. Cause then they have, Hot, hot fights and then they have hot um forgive like, makeup <laughs> hot makeup yeah yeah we're not gonna, we're not gonna do it just to get that out of it <laughs> right you no know, that's actually like a weird like normal for some people that's toxic that's behavior <laughs> yeah uh, I forget yeah. i forget what the, um there's this there's this dude named dante nero and he used to have this uh, dating podcast and he said there's a species of fish called brackish fish Yo, apparently they, uh, and apparently they like thrive in like dirty water. Yo. So he's like, yo, some people are just like, if the if the relationship is like peaceful, that's a problem. Like there always has to be some sort of like weird tor turmoil and conflict, and that's how like Spicy. Oh, that's yeah, that's like their norm. Those are people who have grown up in toxic environments, and it became their norm, and therefore they seek it. Yeah. Unintentional. It's like a form of foreplay, maybe. Like maybe some people are into it, and it's not, you know, like it was some weird form of foreplay. And both, I would, I just want in my mind, there's a a relationship where it's consensual and okay. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe they have a happy relationship too. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, I I wonder how you know where do you draw the line between a disagreement, an argument, a fight, a discussion? You know. Or a yeah. debate. Or is there like a fine line between all that stuff? Is that all the same? It's just on how you handle it. Mm -hmm. A debate, I think, is most just both of you just and think I'm um, giving each other your point of view of something of a topic, without mm -hmm. being yeah. argumentative, without attacking each other, and it's just like strictly like non-confrontational. Oh, so like a fight yeah. is when you. A when... fight is full on you don't care at all about the person's feelings or their opinions and you just throw your shit at them. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I agree yeah. with that definition. Oh. Um, I think like... Because I'm, people... I'm using examples between me and my brothers. The way we argue and fight, there's a big, big difference between my middle brother and my older brother. My middle brother, we have debates. It's clean. We don't hurt each other's feelings, while my older brother is extremely condescending with the way he oh, argues. insults. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. What are you going to say, Dej? I was going to say, like, um, I feel like when two people who are in a relationship... I mean, if you're, if you're arguing, if two people are arguing, I feel like there's some, at least some minute care between both parties. Like, they both care about each other on some, like, you know minimal level because i'll tell you one thing like 
if a girl is not interested in you, she is not wasting her energy trying to argue with you. <laughs> I remember I sent this I remember I sent this girl like this paragraph, yo. I was trying to explain some shit. You wanna know what this girl replied replied me with? Thumbs up emoji. Oh gaslit. <laughs> gaslit. That's like yeah. I was like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Turn off the phone. Yeah. Put my phone away. That's cold. I Maybe think I think I've done that before with someone. Oh my god, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that's cold. Yeah, that's like the most minimal effort reply. Holy shit. Yeah, if you dra yeah. if you if you're dragging a argument for hours, it's going to turn up like that with oh me. I'm goodness. just going to be done with you with everything. I'm just going to reply in emojis. <laughs> Yeah, you guys have me thinking through like fights. <laughs> Just trying to. It is. It is. All it, these it, nightmares. It, it, <laughs> the, the thing is, one person perceives it different than the other person because you could be like, "I'm having a debate with you," and then the other person is like, "No, you're arguing with me." Yeah, I it's a different it's point a, of view. It's, it's a loss of control of communication there because. Yeah. I think what I'd be fighting for generally is just it's probably something that I believe in. Like I see value in this, and the only way I would get protective of that is if it's, yeah, if it's contradicted. Like, oh, you're saying the way I value this is incorrect, and I have to try and oh, convince me. you that it's this one makes more sense. And then, but yeah, if things, yeah, when it gets to the point where you start to condescend or insult or berate each other, that's yeah, that's a fight at that point, and it's not worth having. Yeah, that's when you have to, I guess, break up, break the. Break apart, not break up, but like break you, up instant. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> just just go to different rooms and calm down. Yeah, I need some time to think <laughs> and cool off. How do you guys break up? You guys that have broken up with people before, like what's like? How do you do that? Like um, we gotta talk. I'm a fan of conversations. <laughs> You're a in fan of conversation. Would you do that, it in like, person, over the phone, chat? <laughs> I mean, I, I think, like, if I'm dating someone, then, like, I don't mind doing it in person. I think it's the best way. You, there's nothing lost, you know? Like, chat, text, like, there's always certain things that are lost. And usually if I'm breaking up with someone, I want to make that point real clear. Not to be mean or anything, but I just think, like, some people want closure. Yeah. So I, I usually like doing it in person. And would you Ooh, say nice. it... Those times there, you guys, any of you who ended a relationship, but let's say the other was still willing to fight for it. How do you handle that? Like block delete. Uh, what's that? Block delete. Say with mockery. <laughs> <laughs> block delete, because you're gonna be a stalker at that point, in my opinion. Oh man. Oh. Block delete. Well, yeah, I'm talking about like a long term, like a long term relationship. Let's say you I've established had it with a lot. Someone. I broke up with him. He didn't take it well, and he started stalking me. Okay, but cool. did he do so gentleman like? <laughs> I don't know. The hell? Yeah, because no. I was because I was about to ask: Is that like, is that abnormal? It is. Stalk someone? Not good. Hold on, hold on. Just like okay, let's describe on. his behavior first, and okay. then we can try and tag it if it was stalking. Okay, let's let's just let's just okay. explain this context, right? This breakup was he expecting it? No. Okay, so is it safe to say that before the breakup, he thought the everything was good. Would not have been considered stalkerish. Sorry. But be fair to say that before the breakup, behavior would not like. I don't know what his behavior was. Like, was he just checking out your social media and shit? No. What's considered stalking? What's no, no. Happened? This was a guy I was with. For how long? Okay. So... I would say a year or two. Okay. And he didn't and see the breakup coming. We broke up in person. Okay. But he thought and everything was cool. No, even for me, I blew up because of him. Okay. He pushed me in a heated argument in public. And I've told him many times, I don't like arguing in public. Mm -hmm. I don't like making a whole scene. I don't like that kind of shit, those kind of attention. And he mm -hmm. kept pushing and pushing and pushing on that day. And I just erupted and told him, you know what? Fuck off. I don't want to talk to you ever again. Okay. And I, I walked off and he started following me the entire day. He didn't leave me alone. He kept following me the entire day, the entire week. He would berate me with uh, messages, calling me constantly. 
Oh, yeah. it was Good horrible. I thought you meant like he was just like checking out your like Facebook. Oh, no, no, no. no. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you had a big fight in public. Obviously, it wasn't yeah. planned. It wasn't like. And yeah, you don't like that. I get it for sure. You had every reason to <laughs> to end it there. But to him, I guess he was still fighting the argument, trying to maybe trying to be right. And he's still trying to fight to keep you. Right, he wasn't trying to just. Well, I don't know when he started saying yeah, berating you for. Thing is, look, you, yeah, when you, you if you fight no, in wait, person, wait, wait, yeah. you cross you cross the boundary with me by yeah. doing that in public with me when you know that I don't like that kind of thing. Right, 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 right. You disrespected me there, and I'm already told you I'm 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 very keen on being respected, and if you disrespect me, you are gone. Yeah, I no, so I you get. You will see that coming. I completely get. <laughs> I completely get your reasons for. Like ending the relationship then and there, and like not entertaining. No, I'm, but he, he should have been aware of that as well. I'm trying to I told him. evaluate his behavior and like his reasoning behind, like, because stalking. When you when you say like he ju your relationship of about one to two years just ended, in his heart he may still be in love with you. He just had a shitty fight with you in part in public that you would not no longer tolerate, but he might still be in love with you. So he's following you because maybe he still wants... He well, wasn't he, saying he anything. Wasn't, he wasn't he done. Wasn't saying, look, know? it was fucking awkward because I had like an appointment with my friends. This exact, We were going to meet friends of mine and I broke up with him. He didn't say anything. He kept following me the entire day. Even my friends were questioning about him and I told them what happened and they even t approached him and asked him like, why aren't you leaving? He didn't say anything to anybody. He just stood there and just yeah. made, made the whole thing yeah, he's very shock. uncomfortable. And, oh, no, he was pissed. His face was like he was about to beat someone up. Right. So I didn't want to be around him either. That's good. And he kept, uh, yeah, yeah. for more than a week, he kept bothering me. That part's weird. The, the day that's after weird. stuff yeah, that, and that the following weird. week stuff is weird. Like the berating you and sending the you the day of like, stuff isn't weird i don't think so because he's in shock that he just lost the person he's invested in no like, but go be go be in shock like, oh with somewhere friends, else i'm not saying i'm not i'm go not to saying a bar, get drunk or something i'm not saying his, follow me around i'm not Why follow me around i'm not it's saying weird. his actions are okay and like good for him i'm just saying to call that stalkerish at that same day that his heart just that you just broke up with him i wouldn't consider that stalkerish behavior because would you follow the girl around that just dumped you i, I it might it wasn't just one day I it might. was like a full week it, that's what that i mean after that then i was like okay well that no. doesn't make any sense this guy went home and all that and then he like, no, sticking this with up. me if someone were to have if we were let's say if i was the other side of the table and i got dumped in that situation i would not follow him around and make everybody un uncomfortable with well, my presence because be that's not the type of person you are but this guy's like oh my god like I just lost her. If I walk away now, could I ever get her back? You never know. Like he's you, you've created this narrative in your head. That... I'm just trying to no, I, I can You're I'm trying to empathize. I'm trying to empathize with him. Like I don't, it, man. You know, I think like you have an argument and someone asks you to leave. Right. Like you need to leave. Oh yeah. I'm I've not been saying in the situation, I've been in an argument and this this dude asked me to leave. And it's just like okay, argument's over. I'm just gonna I'm gonna get up and leave like instant because you gotta respect people when they ask you to leave or not touch you. I agree. I like am that. not saying what he did was okay. I'm just saying what to call his actions the day of he, that he just ended his relationship to call that stalkerish. I don't necessarily will automatically resort to that. I think it's bad behavior and it's disrespectful and it's like an invasion of privacy and crossing the line and all that other stuff. But to yeah, call him a stalker, to call that? you call him a stalker yeah. that day, he's I don't just, know, man. Like, he's a hothead fighting with you. So unsafe. if she yeah. feels unsafe, then that's kind of crossing. Yeah, if she, yeah, if she, if she, it, like yeah, if, her, if your safety has been called into question, it's like okay, like I don't want to freak this girl out. Like I'm in shock. Oh yeah, like, they like. He did he did things right. poorly poorly for sure. But you know, I'm not I'm not again, I'm not promoting his behavior to say that that's okay to do. It's not. But let's to, look up the definition of stalker. I'm googling it. To understand. <laughs> uh, Dede, um, 
Yo, like okay, day day. Yeah, go ahead. You want to? I gotta that? apologize for my for my terrible warped brain. But when I saw that comment, I just started <laughs> started dying laughing, because like yo, we've all done that. I feel like everyone is like, if you're in a situation where you don't necessarily like the other person that much, you kind of like start treating them bad on purpose just to like get them to like break up. Okay. Like that's a common thing that people talk about, right? Yeah. Thing, it's yeah. funny. I was just thinking yeah. about like that Game of Thrones episode where Cersei is walking down the citadel and they're like shame shame oh the shame bell <laughs> you think day they should be shamed <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just laughing at it in my head while you guys were talking but no shame data we've all been there yeah the description kind of does fit it yeah the description legit fits it, what you said i i am reading it yeah saying yeah. the definition unwanted and a repeated surveillance by an individual or group toward another person stalking behaviors are interested to interrelated to harassment oh see like i looked up googles and googles is just like a oh. person who harasses like yeah there's no there's no time label to it the minute you're there and you're unwanted and you keep on being putting your presence there you are a stalker okay anyone ever had any stalker behavior no a phone Check. stalker once I have a life, man. Oh, <laughs> I, have ah. better, I have better things to do than stalk people. Or are you asking if anyone's ever stalked someone else before? Yeah. Oh, fuck. No. Okay, dictionary.com defines stalk. Are we doing stalking specifically? I don't know. Stalk. A bean it, stalk. No, it says <laughs> pursue or approach stealthily. <laughs> was, was, was he stealthily? <laughs> Pursuing you? Stealthily? Yeah. <laughs> different, yo. Save that for in-game. <laughs> hey, Mike, Let's stop it. First thing, stuff like stealth. What do you mean? We're All just right. looking up definitions right now. It's, still, it's part of the conversation. Freaking hilarious. <laughs> They're telling me to stop and, uh, in chat that I won't let it go. But I have to say, you guys are a very fun bunch to speak with. <laughs> oh, thanks. Too. Uh, I had fun, even though it's so freaking early in the morning. <laughs> What time is it over there? It's like seven o'clock, isn't it? It's not seven, yes. It's not seven, now it's time Remember, I was up till 3 a.m., bro. You were up? <laughs> oh, since three. Right, right, right. When yeah. Did you, when did you sleep, though? Did you get sleep, at least, hopefully? Uh, I, I actually went to bed way too early last night. That's why I woke up early again. <laughs> good, good. I went to bed around, I'd say, 12, 11. What? That's too early. She got her four yeah. three hours. Sleep. We'll go with three. I don't. I don't stay asleep for long. I have an issue yeah, with my no. sleeping pattern. Like and I, I don't. I don't need to don't sleep, sleep for long. I get energized quite quickly. Wow. Oh. Need those powers. So, you're like, it's, you're not, like it's, it's, not, it's not always like, good because you're gonna stay stay awake for hours not doing jack shit. <laughs> Charlie Sheen is like, I don't sleep. I just wait. Nah, if people tell me I have to go to bed, it's like sleep is for the weak man. <laughs> what sleep? What is that? I don't know what sleep is. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I need, I need more sleep. Ugh. I don't get enough sleep. I was going to say, like, speaking of sleep makes me want to go to bed. Yeah, it's, I think this is a good segue. <laughs> <laughs> to the bed? <laughs> this is a good... Oh, this has been on for uh, 3 hours and 45, 46 minutes, so... Okay. I think that we had a healthy discussion of exchanged experiences, and uh, this was fun. Thank you guys for coming on last minute too. Uh, Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, Thank that you. Was definitely was dope. needed that other side of the perspective. Otherwise, it just put in a sausage fest. So <laughs> I think this is a better better insight in the date. I don't even know if we've actually reached some sort of like teachable yeah. in this <laughs> in this uh, podcast a for bit, people. I guess. A bit. Everyone be respectful and kind. Don't stalk anybody and don't give a uh, Christmas album and socks with a $400 gift limit. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're gonna if you're gonna have a pizza bodysuit photo, balance it with a like a like a lawyer suit or like a <laughs> yeah, have the balance work out on the on oh yeah and use memes for your opening line um that's your favorite ice cream color oh uh, uh, yeah 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 I, i'm going to try that Just have Flavor. talking skills have Flavor. talking skills know what to say and know what not to say yeah 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 
Yeah, 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 yeah. And still, don't be afraid to slide into people's DMs. But if they don't answer you back, don't think they're ghosting you. They have every right to ignore you. Don't, and... <laughs> don't leave your condo window open. Don't yes. send dick pics. Don't follow. put anything of value on the ledge with your condo window <laughs> open. And don't send oh. dick pics. <laughs> Don't ask your friends <laughs> to do, send their funny. dick pic with <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. Don't ever film yourself this. masturbating <laughs> with your face yourself. in in the video. <laughs> in 4K <laughs> specific. Post it. <laughs> if, you do, if you do post, do, post, post it first. first. Post it first. Good strong lessons. This is this is perfect. This is exactly what Cut we needed. Yeah. Save the body. <laughs> <laughs> Good summary. Good summary. All right, thanks guys. Uh, yeah, we can revisit this at some point. Uh, I'm sure I'll reach out again. But YouTube, if you like this video, night, please click everyone. like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when the next one comes out. And uh, comment below if you have any kind of interesting uh, stories or experiences to share with us. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching. Okay. Bye. You guys don't actually have to hang up yet.